everything is too heavy to carry. And we are alive. Right awesome. All right, guys, <laughs> welcome back uh, to this week's episode um, of uh, Amiga Dawn. Uh, to recap, the crew uh, of the last legs uh, is exploring an underground uh, weapons bunker. Uh, they have just discovered uh, a surface-to-space missile facility, which our intrepid um, computer expert, Kat Haskell, uh, believes she has successfully disabled. Um, and of course, we've been fighting uh, lots of these nasty Sapphire-based uh, combat robots which tend to do lots of damage. Our doctor uh, is rapidly running out of medical supplies and just to make matters worse there's about a two hour window before the uh, nuclear reactor powering the base outside the bunker is set to explode. Um, I think that covers things Rick, doesn't it people? Yep. Yep. And I have my chronometer set to give us a, a I believe it was a half hour heads up from the yep, estimate. Yeah, that sounds that sounds right. So um, there you are in the uh, in the uh, the corridor on the room as per the map. Uh, uh, that of course the room you're in of course is the surface to space missile facility, um, and you've got that door at the back there of course and the doors in the corridor out the front. Is that artifact on the um, map anything? Yeah, that's the, chair, that's the computer chair. Okay. That's the computer console that, that Kat was using last week. Alrighty then. So yeah, we need to use a little stealth this time, guys. I think that leaves bad boo out then. <laughs> <laughs> So I said you've got this you've got that door there. Oh yeah. And you've got that door there. And that one there. There. And there's one uh down that way which is technically off the map at the moment. Yep. I'll peek in that one there. Uh this back one. Yeah, that one, right? Yep. There we go. Uh, that is standing room, a a a sorry, standing area in this room. It's only about two meters square. Um, all along the east wall or so, uh, lights uh, in a particular pattern, which is repeated nine times. Lights in a particular pattern. Oh, d but we said we had nine missiles, right? Uh, yeah. And is that another door on the other side of the... No. No, no. Nope, 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 nope. So there's nothing else in that room? No. There's nothing else in that room, no. All right, I say we go south, guys, but it's up to you if you want to check the corridors first. Yeah, going south is fine. Going south is fun. Okay. Who wants to fine. lead? Jazz and Babu? Yeah, that's sure. I got grenades. Cat will just keep looking down this corridor just to make sure that no one comes down there. Okay. So you're opening up that door, are you? Yep. I'll open uh, the north door and try to keep the north door open as well, if we can. Which. Sorry. That door there? there. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, that one, right. That's what I thought you meant. I've got to draw it in, but you mean. Okay, so you're going to open the, 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 do the door into the, the on the, off, start again. You're going to open the door off the southern uh, wall of that corridor, I take it, yes? Correct. That one there, I'll good. I'll give myself a fragmentation grenade, just in case I need it, and open the door, try not to expose myself as much as possible, just to see what we can see in there. Okay. That's what you can see in there. Oh, a worm. Uh, 
can see there's a door in the uh, north wall and in, in the uh, in the centre of the south wall as well, um, and the east wall as well. You can see those extra doors. I don't know if you can. Extra doors. Uh, yeah, doors. yeah, yeah. There yeah. and there. Good. Just. Just. Yeah, I know it's a bad map. Yeah, um, that's right. Uh, four saddle-like chair. Four saddle-like chairs made of bent bars are in here, each on a small raised raised dais. Controls are insert into the chair arms. In the, uh, as you can see, in the chair in the southeast corner, there is a sapphire. Uh, whereas the other chairs contain a human, a dralocyte, and a brusque. All are armed. Uh, the sapphire is wearing a gas mask, and the other three all have military skin suits. Um, you better give me initiatives, people. Oh. Which yeah, oh, is Bim Bam good. here? Sorry, say again. I missed that, Dan. Uh, I was going to say, which token is Bim Bam? Or is he not here? Did we leave He's him? He's the red. Is he the red or is that Doc? No, Doc was the blue one. No, it can't be because that's a, no, uh, no. that's a that's a drill site, the blue one. I think I thought he picked uh, me the other we way around. We left Bim Bam back. I yeah, see his token. Okay. It's the white one. Uh oh. Oh, that was a robot we had uh, disabled, and he was watching it. Yeah. Okay. Um, talking about um, talking about Vogue. Oh yeah. Dan, do you want to? Check on what's going on, please. Um, sure. I don't think I see Babu's token at the moment. Oh, I do. That one. Oh, there it is. Now I got this spun around. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> if in doubt, spin the car. Spin the token. <laughs> oh yeah, That's... I better roll the issues for the guys. Uh, for these guys. So I? then. So then, uh, okay. All right, no, never mind. It's jazz is where jazz is. What, you can't see where jazz is? Yeah, yeah I see him. Um, I was just thinking, like, would jazz have been on the other side of the door when, when uh, that blue opened it up? Yeah. But I thought the dog was red and Vogue yeah, is yeah. blue then. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um... And nope. All right. Are we take? Are we thinking any of these guys might be coerced into this, or are we just going to take them all out? Well, they don't seem to be coerced at all. I mean, they're probably they're probably agents. Sorry, Dan, what's happening? Um, he's going to be a little bit more. I can run him if you'd like, or if somebody else wants to run him. Yeah, Nick. Would you? Would you be so kind? Yeah, can you clean oh, it? So we, yeah, yeah, just doing it now. There we go. Uh, so, an issue for Vokes. So anything I'm, I'm waiting on? Oh, sorry, wrong thing. Started with an I. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay. Um, so, uh, the sapphire, the sapphire's chair uh, platform spins around to face you. Uh, he raises a laser pistol and squeezes off two shots um, at um, Jazz through that gap in the in the doorway there. Damn, I'll throw it. Hang on a second. Put that over there. There we go. Sorry, guys. And misses the first one. And misses the second shot, too. Aren't you lucky? 
Um, and then, Doc, you're up. Doc, that is me. I need to recognise mm. that now. Uh, <laughs> it's all right. That is. He hasn't been really equipped with grenades yet, has he? Not yet. All right. Uh, he will wait around and uh, uh, see if anybody needs medical attention after Babu throws this grenade, which is <laughs> somewhat possible. <laughs> Somewhat possible. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, oh, Bim Bam's oh, not there. So don't little need, faith. Don't need Bim Bam. <laughs> should Bim Bam. Ignore Bim Bam because he's not there. Um, we've got um, Cat. You're next. Cat hasn't seen anything. Uh, no. Uh, the door has opened. Uh, yeah. So. And you. Uh, but you have heard two laser shots. I have heard two laser shots. Okay. Yes. In fact, you probably saw two laser shots mixed jazz. Yep. Over the back of my shoulder. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, she heard a plan of grenades, so she's going to hold her action uh, until that grenade happens or someone comes around the corner. Okay. Babu? So what is my blast radius for a frag grenade on this map? Only three meters. And this map's... What did I say this map was? Five, five meters a square? So basically I'm trying to get it on the square. Yeah, I think it was five meters because the elevator yeah. was pretty big. Yeah, five meters a square. So, uh, yeah, basically it'll, it'll fill up A square. Alright, so I will try... I will turn the corner and throw the grenade at the Sather. All right, so it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, five, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, about 40 meters. Like extreme range, right? Probably. 40 meters. Uh, would the guy at the bottom be closer to the Dralosite? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Still extreme range. Uh, don't matter either one. And then 25 for the human. But would that expose me more? Or does it really matter? No, oh, you're pretty exposed. So would the human be long range then? Uh, if that's what 30 meters is, yeah. Uh, long range is 16 to 25, unfortunately. So the answer is no, it's still extreme range. <laughs> so it don't matter, we're extreme no matter what we do. Yeah. And you, ca you can't throw over 60 meters, that's even further than extreme. I'm going to throw it to human. Okay. And that's just the basic uh, range to throw. Yeah, throwing weapons range attack. Yeah, definitely oh. going to hit that one, mate. Looked like I missed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you missed, alright. Uh, okay, let's see where it bounces to. Uh, goes that way. Uh, okay, so um, the grenade goes long uh, and lands uh, in behind the human um, and explodes without too much uh, damage to any individuals um, at all. Um, the uh. The human, uh, not human, sorry, the Dralocyte uh, snatches up um, a laser pistol uh, and squeezes off a couple of shots at uh, Babu for a miss and a miss. Um, after that, 
Um, we've got. I think it's jazz. No, no it's not. No, it's not jazz or Vogue. It's actually um, the human uh, squeezes off some needler shots at the doorway. And again, misses. I can't do anything, this one. Uh, now it's Vogue. All right. Um, his movement is walk, turn six meters. Um, I hate to group up at the door, but I think that's about as far as he's going to get mm -hmm. without running. Mm -hmm. So that he's done. Doesn't want to doesn't want to lean around the door and squeeze off a shot at the drill side. Oh, can he? I don't see why not. All right. Um, auto rifle. Uh, uh, you guys tell me, is burst a good thing at this situation, or not? Uh, I mean, burst will do more damage. It, it'll do 5d10 instead of 3d10. But it takes uh, 10 rounds. But it, but it takes, it, you're wasting ammo. So you, you're spending ammo with the increased damage. It's probably better just to take three shots. Because right. you've, only got, you've only got two bursts in a clip before you have to reload, so... It would be better to save the burst for the other people that have clumped up. Because you should be able to hit two of them with the burst. Okay, and I can't use scope with a uh, multiple rate of fire. No. Uh, so he was, would we say he was 5, 10, 15, 40? Yeah, th uh, 40, 40 meters, yeah. 30 meters, sorry. So that is short. 30 meters, that's short range. Mm hmm. So no modifier on that. So I think it's wrong, just a straight wrong, range. wrong. Minus ten for short range. All right. Minus ten for short. Minus twenty for medium. Minus forty for long, and minus eighty for extreme. So one hit. Oh, that's a that's a hit. And a miss. No, hang on. Oh, that was damage. Sorry, fourteen points of damage, right? Oh, yeah. No, that's good. Sorry. No, that's cool. I set up the hot bars, but I'm not that familiar with them yet. Oh, that's a critical. That's a nice one. Uh, double that for eighteen points. Yay. Um, actually, that's four and eighteen and eight. Thirty. Thirty. Um, so you squeeze off those three rounds in, in relatively quick succession. Um, there, uh, none of the bullets um, actually strike the dweller site. They all seem uh, to strike some sort of defensive screen um, around the chair before they strike him. So he takes no damage? So he takes no damage. Okay, I would suggest we withdraw, gentlemen. Um, so uh, after that is Jazz and then Cerise. <laughs> Alright. Um... Well, Jazz is going to fire off a shot. At whom? At the dweller site. At the dweller site. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll take careful aim and and take a shot. So uh, range is basically short. Mm -hmm. And base for right hole. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, and a set on ten. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Do I just throw ten or do I throw twenty? Throw ten. Throw ten, okay. Throw ten and we'll double it. 
So 108 points of damage total. Um, that Dralocyte... That Dralocyte's just gone. <laughs> yeah, forget it. <laughs> you, you, uh, yeah. <laughs> Is that the sound it makes? It's, uh, it's not even a plasma mist. It's not even a plasma <laughs> mist. It's just, you, know, you drilled him. Well and truly. Well done. Well, well done, maybe. Um, Therese, you're up. Um, she's just going to take aim. She doesn't want to shoot anybody in the back of the head. Okay. <laughs> um, the Vrusk grabs, uh, scoops up a sonic disruptor, disruptor and aims it towards the door. Uh -oh. But none of but none of them move out of their seats. So um, I only I better get initiative off, off initiatives off everybody again. Don't worry about rolling for Bim Bam's initiative. That's better. Well, not for Babu, but it's better for everybody else. Yeah, well, y you know what Babu? I mean, he was so happy to run into the middle of that door. Now he's just going to stand there going. Huh? Uh, yeah, well, it takes five minutes, so you can get people can get around him. Hey, everybody, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the three bad guys. Wow. Okay. Uh, anyone beat a sixteen? Nope. So, uh, still shooting at Jazz. The Sapper loosens off two shots. What the hell? Uh, both hit. Uh, the first laser shot does 29 points, and the second laser shot does 31 points to Jazz. Okay, so 29, that'll eat up 6 SU. And mm -hmm. how much was the other one? 31. 31. So that's 7 SU, so 13 total. Okay. You got an Albedo screen, have you? Uh, yes. Funny that. Uh, next is a 14. Anyone beat a 14? Yes, Jazz can beat a 14. Yep. Um, so what weapons do I see? I see a laser... Uh, Rifle, I think, in the Sathar's hands. Um, no, laser pistol. Laser, laser pistol. pistol. Uh, the uh, human's got a needler, and the Vrusk has a uh, sonic disruptor. The Dralocyte had a laser pistol. Um, unfortunately, the Dralocyte is a smear against the back wall. What Dralocyte? Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, what Dralocyte? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I want to try this out. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, that always worries me when I hear that. Well, no, I just want to roll this. As oh, oh you yeah, have successfully battle rage. battle rage last. Oh, really? Last La yeah. yeah. That's only happened to me like once ever. I know. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah, so the week um, you weren't playing them. But <laughs> yeah. battle rage is good. Battle rage is good for melee anyway. But it was. Uh, I hope it wasn't against the electroshock robot. It was. It was. <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> All right, so um, I'll take aim, uh, careful aim, and shoot at the Vrusk. At the Vrusk? Okay. Yep. So, Did what do we say? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. That's about forty meters. That one to the Vrusk. All right, that'll be short range for a laser rifle. Oh, just. <laughs> just. Oh, you are nice. lucky. And that should be your clip done, I believe. Okay, the Vrusk is incredibly badly wounded, but he's not dead. All right, and yeah, that's Jazz's turn. Okay, um, so 14, that was... Um, the... Uh, the... the 
uh, the Rusk. What's the range on one of those things? I think 40 is the max. Yeah, I know, just got to look at it. Uh, where are we? Um, personal equipment, personal weapons. You back, mate? Yeah. All right, hang on a sec. Got a touch of the tummy wog, have we? Yeah. Well, yeah. Needle extreme is a hundred. Needle yeah, rifle is one hundred and fifty, but that's extreme. You know, what I'm looking for is a disruptor. Sonic disruptor. Sonic disruptor. Uh, uh, that's the pistol. Forty meters. So it's long range. At maximum. And at that, it only does one d ten at that range anyway, so it's pretty wussy. Just don't uh, yeah, get close but I mean, to it. Just don't get too close, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but that's a hit. And don't forget so, your sonic helmets if you've got it. Uh, so nine points to uh, the uh, Dralus like standing in the doorway. Oh, the one with the sonic helmet. Possibly. What does what that does do? The helmet do? I think it does half damage. It does half damage. What was it? Nine. Nine and then half, or nine is the half? Uh, nine, hard, nine before you halve it. So four points to you. Oh, good. Um, after that, uh, that would be uh, Cat and Voke going simultaneously. Uh, Cat would peek over her shoulder and realize everybody's still at the door and doesn't mm -hmm. want to bunch up even further. Uh, he has no idea what's down the hallway, so. If we knew what was down the hallway, we'd potentially go through that other door, but we don't know that. Um, Come on, quick. Sh yeah, she'll wait until the doorway's clear. She's not going to run into the <laughs> room. Okay, Voke. What, so, what? Do, do these guys have like shield? Like they, they do, right? Uh, there appears saw... to be. Sorry, go on. Uh, go on we Jeff. saw uh, what seemed to be some kind of inertia fields around uh, their console or the seat. Like not on their person, but from their position. So they seem to be protected from where they're sitting. So what is the room like? Is there anything shiny and pretty in there? Uh, no, it's only the four seats. It, it appears to be the main. It, it does appear to be the main control room for the for the bunker. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was gonna throw a few grenades. That's not a good idea. Well, grenade. A grenade has already been thrown. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you can throw a grenade. I don't think I can take any shots from there, and I don't know how I feel about moving into the room quite yet, so, uh... <laughs> you can, the, they're five meter square, so you can share with the other people. Oh, can I, like, if... uh, move and take a few shots? You can move over, it depends where you want to move to and how far, but yes. Yeah, just, just, uh, enough to see, uh, let's say the sapphire. Yeah, well, it certainly means certainly certainly not a problem. Right. Yep. And I'll just take three shots at it. That'd be what? what 20, 30 meter. Now we've already said that's about uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, four. About forty-five meters. That one. And what are you using? Uh, auto rifle. Your auto rifle, okay. So three shots, if you want. Can I suggest uh, shooting the rust? 
This one is pretty <laughs> bad. The, uh, the Sathar and the Brosk aren't 10 meters apart, are they? Uh, they are about 10 meters apart. Why? Oh, you could have hit him with a burst book. Oh, I maybe. Could have, but that's a lot of ammunition. And you've missed three times. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay. Yeah, with the burst you get plus twenty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you and you do sixty ten damage. Spread out over all the targets. Yeah. Um. So that was Vogue. Um. That was Vogue. 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 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 10. Uh, looks like that's uh, Doc. He's the next one to go. All right. Uh, Doc is this guy, right? The red guy, yep. Yep. Uh, he'll uh, jump up to this door just so that he can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. Well, he's um, so far, he's seen, he's seen uh, uh, both Jazz and um, Bad Boo have both taken wounds. And he's actually pretty keen on administering first aid on the field, isn't he? He is, rather. Yeah, uh, right. Jazz... I don't think Jazz actually got hurt yet. Oh, no, no, Jazz didn't. That's right, your yeah, screen took the shots, that's right, sorry. Yeah, and Babu's only got, like, uh, four points. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's not really... Not really much at all. Okay, cool. Okay. He'll hold back, because he is very uh, sensitive about wasting by a court right now. Aren't we all? don't have much. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That, that's Doc done. Ah, uh, don't do that to me, you rotten thing. Uh, okay. Um, and... Uh, that's a needler uh, doing 16 points of damage to Vogue. Ah... Uh, that wouldn't have gone through the skin suit. Needles don't Kick go in. through skin suit. Yeah, no, well they I don't. don't have one anymore. Oh no! <laughs> don't, don't you? Oops. <laughs> Oops. I think Cat uh, has like shreds of skin suit, but it would still count. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, it does. Uh, and then it's Cerise and Babu in that order. So Cerise is going to come out here and we'll say to Kat, do you want to try and flank him? I think that's a good idea. We're useless standing here. All right, so but then... We, she... we might run into a robot down there and we're going to get sad. Well, we <laughs> poke around the door, right? And then we run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll do that. Um, so instead I will run to um there that place okay cat technically you've got a, an action after your sleeve yeah if that's the case uh she'll run to the corner and peek okay. up and down okay well again what you see is what you see uh yep. so babu all right babu he's gonna need it man he, he don't need this stuff so He's going to run 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Whoa. That ain't 25. That's 25, maybe. Has okay. Jazz taught Babu what Sonic Disruptors do at close range? <laughs> watch what the Force X does at close range. <laughs> yeah, watch, yeah, watch what the Force X does at close range. Yeah. Yeah, but it's the brusque yeah. that has the disruptor. <laughs> you might want to go for the brusque, actually, if, ever, if you if can. You can. I don't think I can make it. I don't think yeah, you can make it. Right. <laughs> I don't yeah, why. But now, All right. if, if I can slice this guy in half, then I can get the brusque next. All right, take, so, a, swipe. So take, so a, take a swing. So Jazz yells out, uh, Babu, side disruptor, close range, bad. <laughs> Babu responds, four sacks, oh. close range, badder. <laughs> yeah, fourth range. Close act missed. Okay, so yeah, that's everybody. I'm too uh, fast. That's everybody. So you better give me initiative rolls again, everyone, please. Woo woo! Nice one, Cerise. About time. 
everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the three bad guys. I'm not doing too bad for those guys. Um, Fourteen's the best I've got. So, Doc on fifteen. Uh, he saw Babu run into the room, and probably yeah. swears uh, in panic. Uh, he'll move up just a bit closer. Uh, will that door close now? Now that we probably through it. Yeah, probably. Uh, he'll he'll stand in the door then and keep it open. Okay. So it's Doc. Uh, then, now is it Cerise next? No, it's not Cerise next. It's the human next. Oh, okay. That's alright. I already moved Cerise. Yeah, I saw. Um, uh, let's uh, hit. Do you have a skin suit, Babs? Yep. Oh, so much for the needler. <laughs> <laughs> now you can move Cerise and you've moved to there. Fine. Uh, after that should come... Jazz. And then the Sapphire. We still haven't figured out what that gas mask on the Sapphire is for. Actually, Cat doesn't know that, but speaking as a player, we might be able to find out soon. <laughs> yeah, might find out real soon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Jazz? Uh, so Jazz will reload, and can okay. Jazz, after reloading, can he still move and shoot in the same turn, or only no. one or the other? No, no, you can move or shoot or reload. You can do two okay. of those. You can do any two so of those. Yeah, so he'll ro uh, reload and then take mm -hmm. a sh another shot at the ru uh, rust. Okay, single shot, can't use your uh, careful aim. Right. So this would just be a normal short ranged attack. Mm hmm. For fear of a dead babu. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And this is overkill. Oh, I wanted to shoot Babu. <laughs> I wanted to save Babu. I wanted to shoot Babu. Unfair. Cat, Sapphire, first thing oh, Cat. Where'd he go? <laughs> okay. Both hits on Babu. Uh, it's a laser pistol, mate, so that makes a difference to you. Yeah, yeah how much yeah. ammo it could take it off with uh, power. I'll be there, screen. Yeah, 34 for yep. the first one. 34 for the first one, 17 for the second. Cat. 7, and how much for the second one? 17, 1, 7. So that's 4 SEU for the seven. Is that what you're doing, Cat? Yep, check in the corner. Being as oh, you're, it's small as possible. And trying nice. to... <laughs> not poke too much around, but trying to see what's around there. Okay. Last time Cat did this, she got shot by some turret in the roof. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be happy to know you're not going to get shot by a turret in the roof. Excellent. There's a robot with missiles instead. Yes, there is. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you said it, I didn't. <laughs> Has it seen me? Hang on a sec. Uh, so, uh, there's a closed door in the wall, which you obviously can see. Yep. This one here, right? Um, uh, 
There are power cables and wiring strung along the walls and floors and dangle from the ceiling. The area is well lit by indirect lighting. Okay. Uh, okay, Tim. Um, is that dotted line cabling? No, that dotted line is actually a um, top topology line. Okay. Yep. Um, which you can't see. It's it's for the outside maps. For me, it's not for you. But that's how you can ignore yep. it. Got it. And uh, yes, that is that is a door there. Yep. Uh, in the east wall and one in the west wall. Um. So that was cat 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 on eleven. Uh, Voke, you're up. Um, let me see. I think I have ammo. I think I have enough in my clip for. Yeah, I do. All right, I'll give a. I'll do a burst at the sap. Okay. That'll be a hit. Hey. Yay! Uh, 5 to 10, Max. Uh, Sapphire takes no damage as bullets <sighs> shank off. He's going to move as back a bit. Just out of <laughs> yeah, yeah, not really, but anyway. Okay. Um... I'm looking for something. Where is it? There it is. Is that acting like a badass it, uh, inertial screen? Yep, it certainly is. Yeah, yeah okay. Because even the, the, the combat ones only do half damage, right? Uh, the, the inertia screens? Yeah. Depend, no, it depends on how. No, inertia screens will do. Uh, can do can take full damage. Skin suits only take half. I don't think that's right. I'll look these ones are these ones are certainly taking full damage. Yeah, okay. I right. think the personal ones it it halves. Yeah, and it if you right. have a skin scoot, you take you take quarter damage. Half of quarter, yeah, yeah, that sounds right. But these yeah, ones are taking full. Yeah, these ones are taking full. Um. Oh, cool. So sonic weapons aren't aren't covered by this. So no, because they're Sonic. Sonic sword, this guy. The Force Axe <laughs> might, though. Be careful, Babu. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, there it is. Now, is that unusual for inertia screens, not personal inertia screens, but to be able to take the full? Um. Well, yeah, this is you, you've never come across a a non-personal inertia screen before. I'm just wondering technology-wise if it's advanced tech. Well, it's alien tech. I don't have advanced tech. Okay. Cool. Um, yes, <laughs> short range. <laughs> Good thing um, this okay. Sorry, go on. Go ahead. The blast radius of that. You want to remember the blast radius of a rocket? Don't be having to look it up. Oh, I, it was. Take a look. I don't. It's not enough to hit Ceres. I no, it's not. That. Like the it's heavy rocket launcher. Yep. No, but I, 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 the range is there. I've got Dad's blast radius, so I couldn't see. That's okay. No big deal. Let's see if I hit you first. Uh... Oh yeah. Who? Yeah. Who fires that's it? That's almost. A, that's almost a crit. <laughs> it's not the. Um, the ro the rocket launches the rocket. The robot launches a rocket at um at you um cat. It goes the rest of my skin suit. Well, you get a. Uh, you see all the dice that rolled? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, you get a uh, you get a um, a reaction speed check first. Uh, reaction speed. Let me do that. It's fifty fifty. That's good. A right. So you managed to dodge out of uh, out of the way for part of it. Uh, so Quarter you damage. so hey. Quarter damage. You, yeah. Well, you take fifty points of real damage. So you can halve that for your for your, your suit. Yep, let me do some okay. math. Five zero. Five zero and half that, and I take that. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but don't forget your skin suit only absorbs a certain amount. How much your skin suit's got? How much of your skin suit is left? Uh, I was forty-one points. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. So you take twenty-five and twenty-five. Yep. I thought you said you only had rags. I, I, I was. I assumed I had rags, and then I, I checked oh, it. Right. I, I, I was carrying a spare. Mm, I think we yeah, yeah. both okay, spoke, and I did the sneaky mm. change. <laughs> <laughs> nice excuse. Okay, uh, so that was the uh, that was the uh, the uh, bot on eleven at uh, ten. Uh, sorry, eleven, ten, 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 ten. Uh, that makes it Babu, and then that's it. Babu's the last one to go. Uh, Four sacks, four sacks, boy. Okay. I think that's a hit. Yeah, roll me the damage. Okay. Um, there's a a flash of light as your four sacks uh, strikes the inertia screen around the human seat, uh, and uh, stops before actually striking the human, and the human grins at you. And I'll get initiative rolls off everybody, please. So just clarification, what does inertia do? It's a force field. Uh, it's a force field. Which blocks, like, solid matter. So, like, um, bullets, you know, will be, like, the rocket launcher. Those are, like, solid matter as opposed to, like, beam weapons, which is, like, lasers. Yeah. So if you look at the force axe, its defense is inertia. Mm-hmm. Everybody roll initiative? Two, three, yep. four, five, six. Okay, the bad guys. Okay. Okay. Best I've got a fifteen. So looks like Doc's going first. Uh he heard rockets go off. He heard a rocket uh. go off. He would have definitely heard that, though. They're pretty oh, loud. Oh, yeah. Every, everybody would have heard the rocket go off. He will be He'll be going over to there to see if anybody's seriously hurt. <laughs> Fair enough. The, uh... Run per turn. Oh, that's not filled out. Hmm. That hey. would be about right for a human, though. Yes, that's about right for a human, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, the robot uh, moved? Yeah, the robot moves on a uh, 15. Oh, it's a, it's turn, okay. Yeah, it's turn. Um, so it attacks uh, with a f flails you with a tentacle for a critical hit. Flails you with a tentacle for a hit. And then shoots you six times with its auto pistol. Ugh, now my skin's done. <laughs> two. <laughs> Three, four, five, and six. Out of those six shots, uh, one, two, only three, uh, four hit, but one of them was a critical. So, oh, first ten. First, from the bad guys. Uh, that's right. I'm rolling very well. Uh, first tentacle does twelve points. Alright, and tr that the tentacles aren't skin suited, right? Tentacles? No, they are. Would be. They're um. They're inertia. Okay. Yep. Uh. Inertia like anyway. Uh. So twelve points for the first one. Twelve points. Yep. And twelve points for the second one. Twelve. Twelve. Yep. Uh. The first pistol shot does four. Oh, second yep. pistol. 
second pistol shot does three. Three, yep. Third pistol shot does eight. Eight. And the fourth pistol shot does three. Three, okay. Are you still alive? Yes. Bugger. <laughs> uh, I, I, well, I don't know yet, but I'm pretty sure I would be. Cat's uh, actually pretty sturdy. She's got 60 stamina. Oh, uh, what are you worried about? What uh, are you worried about? Uh, okay, so 12 halved is 6. Uh, that's 6 off there. 15. And another 6, which is 9. And then 2, which is 7. And 3, which is 5. 4. Okay, skin suit's toast. You're funny, that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, in so the that's... meantime, Cerise. Well, the robot was out of range, but not anymore. Yeah, but catch right in front of you, too, don't forget. Yeah, but I can get over oh. here. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. To get to the towards the back of it, anyways, to disable. So if I can pull the panel off this turn. Uh no, you need a full you need a full turn to pull the panel off. Remember. Okay. So, so that's so I run over there. Yep. Okay. Fine. Um. And I yell out, robot. Okay. Uh, the. Sapphire shoots at Babu. Uh, misses hits. Uh, Twenty points, Babu. Two zero. Oh. Laser. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, Siri or Siri, uh, Jazz? Alright, Jazz will move into the room. I think that is as far as he can get. Um, and then we'll take a razor shot at the Sapphire. Okay. Brutal, guys. Uh, brutal. <laughs> Why? Engaging the stationary targets that won't move when we're fighting a robot. <laughs> oh, that is true. Bitch, 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 moan, 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 wind, 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 roll the damage, please. Roll your damage. Okay, the sapphire is taken, uh, is wounded. And that's it for Jazz. Um, after Jazz, there would be... Cat. Alright. And then the human. Uh, Actually, I'll do the human now, because I can. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, are you wearing a skin suit? Jazz. Uh, yes, I am. Bugger. Can't get you with a needle over there either. <laughs> All right, Cat. All right. What does Cat know? Cat knows that she has no skin suit left. Uh, it can shoot one rocket per turn, so if she stays there, she's definitely going to get rocketed or tentacled. Uh, at, at, what's the rocket radius? Like, would she, would she be able to get rocketed from there without hitting the robot? No. All right, but six shots from the auto rifle. Six Great. shots from the two auto pistols, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Go defensive. Yeah. So, could she get out of tentacle range but be dodging? She can get out of tentacle range. And but not be in rocket range? No. 
No, it's one so or the you, other. You, you, you have a choice between tentacles or rockets? Yes. Alright, uh, she knows that she needs to distract this robot so that Cerise can get her job done. So she's going to go full defense, dodging as much as she can. Because uh, she, can she can decide to not shoot, but be ready to evade, right? And get like a defensive bonus. Yeah, so you, 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 yes, yes, you get a defensive balance, but you can't attack. Yep, yep, she will do that. Right, right, okay. And so that, yell that's... at Voke to get his ass around here. Uh, Voke, <laughs> Voke, you're being, you're being called for. But I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny that. Okay. I don't go uh, to so that was... uh, yeah, it's not okay, fun. okay. That's not fun. There we go. Um, uh, Voke, it's your your action actually. Then it's Babu. Fine, I guess I'll go to Disneyland. Uh, what's your run rate, mate? 25. You only run 25. Yep. I thought so Frosk were, like, super fast. Yeah, but he's only a drill Oh, I, yeah. My run's yeah. only 26. Oh, okay. His wa Frosk have fast walk speed. But, they're but not back. fast run. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Not that expensive. Okay, so that's that. Uh, Babs? I'd like to drop my axe and just grapple him. Pull him off the chair. <laughs> yep, basically. <laughs> um, Throw him yeah, to okay. the floor. I wonder, if, I wonder if that would even Throw work. Him to the the floor? Yeah. Throw him to the floor. Waffling. My friend, my friend, biggest diggers. He has a wife, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Incontinence buttocks. Yes, I do know the Monty Python sketches. Um, go, okay, so drop your axe. Hey, give me a uh, well, give me a grapple roll, mate. That's a, a combat roll. It's certainly, that, it's certainly the element of surprise. Almost got him. Almost got him. Um, yeah, okay. Um, that's Unless everybody. A modifier so on it. No. <laughs> I mean, I thought he is seated, right? Yeah, but. You've got to get past all the all the crap he's seated on too. So, uh, no, not quite, mate. Uh, so that's an issue for everybody, please. And the bad guys. It makes it easy. Um, Voke, you've got that, looks like. Five. Yay. Alright, let's see what Disneyland is like. You can actually make the robot this round. Can't attack it, but you can make the robot this round. Did Cat call for me to go to the robot? All I said was, get your butt here, because there's a ro- and Cerise's already yelled out, robot, so. <laughs> okay, uh, alright. The, the, uh, the plan was always to distract the robot enough that Cerise can disable it. Alright, well then we're gonna play peekaboo. You can move, uh, 6.25 meters in front of so he's gonna walk over there, it's gonna just be an alley. Okay. Uh, Babu, Babu, and Ceri sorry, Cat and Cerise are both in melee combat with a with a combat robot. Okay. Uh, does that? I'll just account for short. Yeah, that's a miss. Wait a minute, Cerise, didn't you put on your inertial screen? Yep. What am I doing being brave for? I gotta run away. <laughs> well, because I need something to draw some of its fire. The inertia screen only stops half the... Ah, uh, yeah, true. Yeah. It's not like the other screen. Yeah, got it. And I don't have the yeah. stamina you have. Yeah. Terrible. Pero, Doc? Uh, 
uh, he is gonna. Oh, I yeah. I was just about to say he's about to go up to the corner, and then he realized he's bunching up in rocket launcher range, and he is the doctor. Let's not do that. Uh, he'll hang back behind book. Okay. Because he, um, he wouldn't be able to make it to cat anyway. No. Uh, so, uh, Cerise, I believe you're next. So I take off the panel. Okay, so you're taking the panel off. Okay, fine. Uh, the robot splits its fire. Okay, so it's going to tentacle... It's going to tentacle cat. Uh, now you're dodging, weren't you, cat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's only one tentacle hit for only eight points. Mm, not looking great. Now, <laughs> the robot also shoots at you three times. Once. Twice, three times, only hitting once. Oh, yep. For nine points. Eight and nine. Uh, eight and nine, yeah. Uh, it shoots at three, three times. Critical. Missed. Hit. Uh, the crit does eight points. The regular hit does two. Cerise? All right. Okay. And finally, launches a rocket up the corridor at Voke, which hits. I'm going to need reaction speed checks off Voke and off the Doctor, please. Like ten metres back. Five metres back by my count, looking at that map. Yeah. Oh, I thought the doctor was like two squares away. Look. No, there's only one there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Voke made it. I did it. Doc? And the doc made it. So, Voke takes. 32 points of damage. And that's halved? That is already halved. Yeah, no, but you can deal with things on your own now. And the dock takes 45 points of damage. Now, it is it is missile, so it's inertia screens and skin suits will, will, will affect that. Yeah, rockets are 15 dice. All right. Ouch, ouch. Not to mention a bit of an ouch. <laughs> uh, that was uh, 12. Cerise on 12. Um, Cat, you're on 11. Followed by Babu. All right. Uh, so has Cat seen Cerise take the panel off yet? Uh, yes. Well, in the process, off it'll be off the way into the round. Yeah. Uh, cool, because she's on one stamina. He's <laughs> <laughs> kind of thinking that it might be time to run away. <laughs> Wait, did yeah, you just say uh, one you stamina? Do. Sorry? Did you just say one stamina? One, yes. As in, if she takes a full attack from this guy, he she might end up permanently dead uh, if she's really unlucky. Uh, yeah, run away. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, she's running away into missile territory. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's no good options here. Uh, can she run past? Can she run past the robot? Ah, uh, yeah. 
get down to here. Yeah. Uh, let me just see how far she could get. That's one, two, that would be 10 meters, 15, 20, 25, 30. How far is the movement rate? 30 is a run. Pull it back five meters because of dodging around the robot. Yeah, that's fair. Of course it's fair, I said so. <laughs> All right, Running in that's screaming like a little girl. That's yeah. probably her best chance of success. And can she she can't dodge when she ran, right? Yeah. Okay, she's still dodging then. Cool. Yeah, I thought I figured that was the case. I thought I I, I was gonna read that as red. Take yeah. that as if, red. If not um, like lying down on the ground crying, hoping that she doesn't <laughs> get shot. <laughs> yeah. Babu uh, Grab him again. Get my okay. hands on him and twist his head off. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. well, you hey. managed to you you managed to grab him. Um, give me a quick. You were, yeah. You are you. You said something about pulling him out of the chair at one stage. Is he still doing yep, that? Yep. Well, well give me a um. Throw him to the give floor. Me, yeah. Give me a strength check, please. Okay. Um, you manage to get him up out of the chair. You don't manage to throw him to the floor so much, uh, but you are you are, you are him and you are grappling together. Um, but he's out of the chair. Cool. Uh, that was Jazz. That was Jazz. Yeah, Jazz. Uh, Jazz will reload and shoot the safe target. Okay. Um, to change the setting on the rifle, the SU setting, is that a yeah. action? action? Yep. Okay. Then I'll just just take the shot. <laughs> Yay! Uh oh. <laughs> it was bound to happen. It was. More so in this game, it seems. But I'm not going to mm -hmm. say anything. Go! Oh, it's a five percent chance of happening. Uh, 34 points of laser damage, Jazz. To myself? To your, yeah, that was from being shot by the Sapphire. Uh oh. And, and you have managed to completely stuff up um, somehow your, uh, the reloading of your rifle so that uh, you don't, you, 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 your, um, your, uh, your new power pack um, is uh, uh, drained, shorted out, and drained in the process, and you are effectively jammed. So you need to spend an action. Uh, you need to spend a round unjamming your rifle and then reload it. Okay. Okay. And that's everybody, I believe. Is that right? Uh, I Doc. So. Oh, except for now, Doc moved up, didn't he? Ah, uh, that was this round, was it? Yeah. That okay, was this go. round. That was this yep. round. Uh and the human kicks, kicks uh, Babu where an, a human would uh, normally kick another human when they're grappling, if you know what I mean. And oh, ow. You, yeah, you, that's you don't have that's cute. That doesn't work on drawless sites, but it it doesn't. Uh, but you do take four points of uh, of contact damage, uh, which, skin your, which your have. skin suit will harbor. Yes. Your skin suit will harbor it, yes. Okay. So now I'll get an issue from everybody, please. Oh no. Oh no. That uh, must have done <laughs> something to Babu. You just need me to go before the robot. Yeah. Mm. And the bad guys. Cat, you first. Hey, uh, if she runs down this way, she will she trigger this door? Uh, she well, um, I don't know whether they're yeah. automatic or whether you actually well, they have to are, push them. Well, they well, you got to push a button basically. So, but yeah, you can hit you slap the button on the way through. Yeah. Uh, no, she'd actually be trying to not open the door because there's oh, probably okay. bad things in there, and she just wants to hide in this corner. Uh, yeah. Uh, well. Um. 
you want to give me a spot check? Uh, sorry, you want to give me a um, yeah, a spot check. You want to give me a oh yeah, intuition logic roll, please. Since you're at that door. Okay. Uh, there is the uh, uh, the the radiation symbol is on that door. Oh. Okay. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, the human grapples or counter grapples. Yeah, counter grapples. Babu is not Babu. successful in breaking free, so uh, no damage is ca no damage is caused. Um, after that would be uh, the robot or Cer no, Cerise. <laughs> hey, nice. All right. Cerise, what's you doing? Deactivate. <laughs> nice. It's way deactivated. A way deactivated, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So that's the robot deactivated. Uh, who's next? 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 Who's yeah, I'm just doo -doo 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 -doo. come back a little bit so I'm not peeking out. No, you, you you've you've seen the robot go deactivated. It's yeah, well, yeah, I I need a I, I need a bandit. You need <laughs> a bandaid. Yeah, so I'm just gonna stay still for the. You gonna you need a bandaid, okay? The uh, the sapphire spends a action reloading his pistol, and then shoots at Jazz again. Uh, misses on that shot. Um, so Doc, I believe you're next. No, Jazz uh, is next. Jazz is next. Uh, Jazz will have to. Reload and unjam or unjam and reload. Unjam. Okay. Well, you're un you're unjamming. Okay. Yeah. Unjam. Uh, unjam is unjam. one action, right? And then reload. No, uh, you know you got to spend the whole you got to spend the whole you got to spend the whole whole round unjamming, mate. I said. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's try this yeah. then instead. Um, oh, okay. Jazz will. Can Jazz move his uh, movement and and draw another weapon at the same time? Yeah, if I have to drop the rifle. Yeah, so we'll drop the rifle yep. on the ground, and then we'll move to there. His mm -hmm. speed. Um, and draw what? A, drawing his uh, his only other ranged weapon, sonic stunner. Okay, you have the sonic. And you have the sonic stunner drawn. Can't use yep. it, but it's now drawn. Okay. Okay. Uh, that was Jeff. So Doc. The doc, the doc, also needs a band aid, so he's going to do first aid on himself. Okay. Uh, I think the doc is pragmatic enough that he realizes that if he dies, everybody dies, so he'd probably mm -hmm. heal himself first. Mhm. Mm so ten points back to the doc, and another bio court gone. Yep. And Babu. Throwing him to the floor. Strength check, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you've been... Slam to the floor. Okay, so give me a D10 roll plus your strength check, please. D10 roll plus my strength check? Plus your strength punching score, then. Sorry. Ah, oh, okay. Plus yeah. your punching tool. Sorry. Plus your punching tool. Um. Doc's inventory doesn't actually have any buy cord on it. I'm concerned. Uh, somebody's got buy cord, surely. Well, somebody I gave him a whole bunch. Yeah, Jazz gave 
him 30 last time. Uh, but it's not yep. written here, which is a bit strange. Well, you, you've used I will a lot write too. it now. You've yeah. used a lot, though. Don't forget. Yeah, uh, I don't think we. He, I don't think we, he, he would have got. I think he was getting to the end of it. Or yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It just. It's weird that it's not here. Uh, but I will. Okay. Well, I did. It's just, there's nothing. There's no anesthetic written here. There's no. no okay. None of the consumables here. All it's got is a basic equipment pack, and med kit. Uh, mm. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. have since put by a court with thirty of them and took it, taken one off them, because uh, that's that's all I have in my head. But if we watch the recording, we can fix it up. Yeah, I will. Uh, Oh, that's right. I'll fix up later. Yeah, uh, I, maybe the notes page? Yeah. I was about to say that. In the meantime, initiatives off everybody, please. Man, a lot of... Rubbish. A lot of ones. ones from the Drowless site as well. I am slowly pulverizing this guy. I am like a glacier crushing down upon him. Meanwhile, we'll just move out of the way, because glaciers are slow. Oh, but he can't get out of the way, because I'm holding him. <laughs> I thought you threw him to the floor. <laughs> yes, now I'm slowly crushing him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, uh, nobody beats... Okay, Doc, you've bitten a 16. Uh, cool. Uh, he will apply first aid to Voke. Mm-hmm. And the Sapphire shoots at Jazz for a single shot of 28 points. And then, uh... Jazz, you better give me a, um, a, a, a spot check, please. Okay. Yep, you can, yep, okay. Ah. Jazz, you'll go, by the way. Sorry, I didn't see a 16 there. All right, so just it in. Just comes after the same time, right? Yeah, it will be actually at the same time. Oh, okay, so Jazz will fire the sonic stunner in his hand. Mm -hmm. uh, this roll is labeled electro, but it's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's a medium range with careful aim. So it shoots the shoots the Seta. Mm-hmm. And so I guess that's the... Alright, Sapphire is uh, not affected. Uh, did he look like he got hit? It looked like he got hit. He looked like he resisted it too. Okay. Uh, Cat, I believe you're up next. Alright, uh, she... W We'll have a closer inspection of this door. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, she saw the radiation symbol uh, mm -hmm. going past, but is there any other writing on there? Nope. Nope. Alright. She'll call out to Cerise and say, Hey, we probably don't want to go in here. I see radiation symbol. Because um, Cerise's plan was to flank these enemies, and it doesn't seem like a good idea. We're getting a bit of feedback there. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Um, yep. All right. Uh, Sharif, you're next, I believe. Um. I guess I will go. I. I don't know if I go back and join the fight. I'm going to go down and and inspect the door. 
for alarms, but I can't Shit. do that this turn. No, you move down there, but you can do it later. You do it next turn. Okay, um... Voke, what are you doing? Apart from getting healed by the doctor. Doesn't he have to stay put? Because if he moves he does. the first, yeah, he first does. aid, doesn't he? Does. He does. Alright, good, alright. Yeah. Was that a test? It was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. He stays put. Okay, do it. Yeah, what do you think? Why are you staying put? Apart from apart from lying on the ground and whimper like a little girl? Oh, poor Tudums. <laughs> okay, if nothing else, then we'll move on, Babu. Well, go mess with the robot. You need to stay You'll put to get healed, robot. dude. Oh. Alright, am I able to subdue this guy, or what, what, what kind of are my options with him to get him out of the fight? Uh, uh, well, if you want to subdue him, you're going to have to try and knock him out. Uh, knocking out, you'll need to roll a one or a two, unless you're using a blunt w a blunt weapon, in which case you need to roll a one or a two or a number ending in zero. Unless you've got the martial art ability, right? Uh, martial art skills which that. you don't have. No, no, that's fine. So, so you got to roll a one or a two, uh, or end if you're uh, using a blunt weapon, uh, like a rifle butt or a club or something like that. Then you also get them on a on a zero. On a number ending in zero. What if would I need to throw him? We've well, already thrown him to four. Yeah. What happens if you threw him really fast at the inertia screen? <laughs> <laughs> See if you can hurt him with his own defense. Anyhow. Well, when, when, you throw, when he's thrown to the floor, like with his current position, is it outside of where the inertial screen seemed to be? Maybe you haven't tried anything yet. You could try to throw him out of the inertia screen area, and then just beat him up with your force axe again. I was kind Dragon. of thinking that, but since I've got him to the ground, am I able to basically straddle him and pick up my force axe? If you want to do both, I'm going to need you to roll me a reaction speed check. Reaction speed check. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you've managed to straddle him, which is a an image I just didn't want, but anyway. Um, and you've managed to scoop up your four sacks. Sound good to me. Uh, if I'm holding case, it, the edge is close to his throat. <laughs> uh, you uh, want to give me some initiative rolls, please, gentlemen? I've been slimed! Yes. Okay. Wow. Vogue's gone again. Okay, I'll roll for Vogue. Okay. Okay, so that looks like... Um, jazz. Jazz, 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 jazz. Yep, jazz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Jazz will take another shot, just a normal shot, uh, without careful aim. At the Zithar with his Sonic Stunner. Okay. Yeah, nah, that's not gonna hit. And miss it. 
Uh, and then Jazz, with his other action, will pull out his sonic sword in his offhand. <laughs> okay. Sonic sword. So he's got a sonic sword drawn in one hand, yep. offhand, and yeah. Yep, it's like another. Okay, it's fine. Um, Doc, you're also going on 14. Hmm. Uh, combat is not the time for surgery. Oh, God, uh, no. Uh, so, he will make start making his way towards Cat. The robot reactivates? No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... Of course I'm mean. That's why you game with me. You're all masochists. Um, truth to that. There's some truth to that. Um, the uh, the human uh, the human uh, uh, starts convulsing underneath of you, uh, Babu. Oh well, that saves you the trouble of like subduing her. Actually, it's a him. It's actually a him, but him. I just did, I, the first thing I, first token I grabbed. So, uh, with something like a uh, reaction speed check, can I try to grab a antitox out of my mm. pack and hit him with it? Are you a medic? Nope. Mm, then the answer is no. Okay. Just go beat up on a satyr. I'll ride him. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, God. Cat! Cat. <laughs> uh, uh, she will... Uh, there were, actually, it's combat, so there's, she'll just get out of the way of Cerise <coughs> and wait for the dock. Probably moving closer to the dock. She should be able to see him coming. Yep. Cerise? So I'm going to inspect that door. I think the first thing I'm going to look for is alarms. Mm-hmm. Give me a roll. That's, that's the wrong thing, but still succeeds. Yeah, okay. No, no, there are no alarms on that door. Okay. I think I'm done. Babu? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, initiative, right? No, I'm waiting for your action first. I thought he was convulsing. Is he dead? No, but it's just the same round. He's, he's convulsing and you've got an action this round. Yeah, that was on his turn. Yeah, okay. I was kind of expecting him to just die. Yeah, he, he probably will. Mm. So you can go beat up on the safe arm. You feel safe with him convulsed behind us? <laughs> I'm not really worried about him. He's convulsing. <laughs> There's a long history of, like, uh, right. safe arm agents committing suicide by yeah, themselves. Twenty or okay. twenty-five to get there. Yeah, about that. Although okay. he's still in his seat, right? Uh, he's still in his seat. Yes. Can I get initiatives, initiatives off everybody, please? How many ones have I rolled? You know. I don't know, but it's a lot. <sighs> Okay. Babu? That'd be me. You are shot twice. Laser. By laser. Uh, for 28 points. And for 42 points. 
Whoa. You said 42? Yep, 42, yep. Let's hope your power holds out. I got six and nine. Hey? Uh, six. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The video screen and yep, nine. Yep, 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 that's right. Yep, uh, I hold out. Yeah, Jazz, you're first, followed by Cerise. Alright, Jazz will move up mm -hmm. to him and swing with the Sonic Sword. Okay. And that'll miss. Man, that's a miss. Cerise? Um, taking cover, I will go ahead and open that door. Okay. Right, the door opens up at the end of the round. Um, oh, jazz, Cerise. Doc, you're next. I think. Yeah, it's 5, 10, 15. He actually probably be able to move to there. Right mm -hmm. beside Cat. Cat. But and Cat, you're next. Uh, would she have heard the door opening process starting? She would have start heard that, yes, she would have. Uh, she might get out of the way, uh, because <laughs> she did see what was written on the door. Um. Fair enough. Vogue? Uh. I'm going to go back with the other guys to check on how they're doing. Okay. There's your room. Um, a large sealed unit fills nearly the entire room. Um, there's a small area in the northwest corner. Uh, is really the only open space. There is a passageway uh, between the room. Uh, there's masses of dials and screens along the sides. Uh, indicating some sort of power generation. Uh, none of the symbols are familiar, apart from the uh, nuclear signal on the door. Uh, there is a small sealed computer console in the north uh, west corner. Um, there are no operating controls visible, uh, and the unit itself appears to be inaccessible. Um, in the southeast corner of the open space, uh, a low dais and a dismantled chair unit, um, and of course the two doors. Okay. Thanks. Can I get, initi can I get initiative off everybody, please? Go, your paranoid cat. Of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't roll another one. Yeah, didn't roll another <laughs> one. Got two. I got the one. Mm. So higher than you. Though. Uh, Jazz. All right, Jazz is going then to. Then the Sapphire, and then Doc, and then Cat. All right, Jazz is going to move around and flank them from behind. No, no, there's no such there's no such rules in this game. But anyway, or attack from melee behind. there is. Hmm. Melee, attack you get a bonus behind. from attacking from behind. Yeah, I know, I know. And swing the sonic sword. Mm hmm. That's a hit. Sonic damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, the sapphire, now in quick succession, the following happens. Okay. Uh, the sapphire goes down. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you hear you hear this. Oh man! And the sapphire explodes, causing twenty-four points of damage to uh, Jazz and fifteen points of damage to Babu. Uh, no reaction speed thing, or, or right? Can you play the noise again? I don't know if I heard. Uh, didn't you? You can't hear that. It's not that loud. It was loud. low volume. Okay, I'll turn it up a bit. Hang on a sec. I got a damn it. I closed it instead of minimizing it. I hate doing that. Let me get what out of your skin set. Sapphire. Sapphire. <laughs> That's why skin suits are disposable. We'll be right back. I've been slimed. You've been slimed. What the hell? Was it just a click? No, I went. I went. And, it's in the. It's in the library, but I went and closed the damn thing down. So I've got to reload it from the library. Well, I can't find it. That's the worst part about it. Because there's over there's over six thousand sounds in the library. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was basically a klaxon. It's a klaxon, is what it was. Alarm. But I can't find where what I where I did with what I did with it. Let's see if I can find it this other way. That one. Was that loud enough? It's really soft for me. But I can hear, I can hear it. it. Okay. Trouble is, I don't want it too loud because it'll it'll drown out it'll drown things out. Is that better? Yeah. Yep. That's good. I have your sound channel at plus ten decibels. So. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I'll turn it. I'll turn the volume right up then. I just didn't <laughs> want it drowning everybody out. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Self destruct initiated. You now have sixty minutes to reach minimum safe distance. Ah. Oh. That will yell out over the Chronicom. Babu, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah, Jazz, Jazz responds, Yeah, Babu, what did you do? <laughs> Vogue adds in, Babu, did you do something? <laughs> oh, by the way, Vogue. Yeah. You know how you're bitching and moaning about um, a certain power unit outside uh, not showing up on the, you know, on the base here. You remember? You mean I, how you wouldn't let me disable the nuclear reactor? Can I try now? No. You, you, remember, you remember how you were complaining that you're saying the nuclear reactor wasn't supplying enough power? That's, you know, because it should have it been, the base should have been showing up on it. Not when there's a second nuclear reactor. So, as I said, don't don't bitch too hard. There's always a reason. Just just because you don't know what the reason is doesn't mean anything. Anywho, so yes, you've got an alarm going off. That 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 klaxon. I'm not going to play it all the time because I can't. I'll only do it three times. I've just got to to 
because he kept clicking it and I couldn't be bothered doing that. Um, so uh, there's a klaxon going off uh, and uh, the lights are flashing red as well. Hey. So I will reset my uh, chronocom to uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I'll check my taxi toxi rad gauge and move into this area 21. Okay. Um, there is a there is a slight little bit of background radiation. It's certainly uh, well within tolerances. It, it's it's hardly worth mentioning. Um, but yeah, it looks like this is a second power a second power reactor. Uh, whether it's a backup or or whatever else is, but there's obviously this 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 and another one. Um, yeah. So guys, do we want to finish what we can of searching this facility, or do we want to just leave? Um, well, the room where we just finished pulling off the the, the face star, uh, that was like a control room, right? It did look a bit of a control room, yes. So maybe the computer and engineering guys can figure something, I don't know, figure out what that controls. Uh, but Jazz will search the dead bodies for gear. Okay. okay. Well, give me some. Give me four search rolls, please, mate. Mm -hmm. um, but for in, in response to Cerise's question, like Jazz is okay to kind of to keep looking around up to the thirty-minute mark and then skedaddle. Mm -hmm. And then that's just to see if folks can, can find out anything fancy about this nuclear reaction. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's a couple. It's a couple of um, kilowatt reactor. Um, it's enough to run um, this part of the, the. It's enough to run the bunker, including um, all the weapons and uh, power for the missile launcher and things like that, plus lighting, heating, and and atmosphere controls. Um, it is in some sort of shutdown. Um, there is a a chance you could. Um, Disable um, the uh, the self destruct uh, sequence. It'd probably take you longer than you've got. In other words, it take me like two hours, and I have an hour to get to safety. Yeah, something like that. What's the safe minimum distance? Uh, yeah, good question. Um, look. Um, From the immediate from the immediate blast, you want to be about ten ten clicks away. Um, secondary fallout. Well, again, if it goes nuclear, it's probably going to take out the second the other reactor, which was going to spread radi radiation through the entire rift. So sooner or later, the entire rift is going to be poisoned. We're going to have to grab Max and then we'll be carrying to the wherever we're leaving. Them. So yeah, uh, why don't we chrono Bim Bam to get Max in the? Um, there was an air car. No, there was, yeah, there was a hover car, right? It's an air car. Yeah, yeah, the air car hover car. Well, they're two different things, guys. Oh, they are. Yeah. yeah. So that's an air, air car, not a hover car. That's an air car. So yeah, tell Bim Bam to get uh, Max into the air car. And if he can to prep the cycles too. Yep. Okay. You can do um, that. Um, I don't know, Cat. If you want to play with the computers, I think that's probably a good thing for you to do while you're injured. But the rest of us probably need to continue on. And I'm suggesting we continue down this way since we're close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm Cat would, yeah, Cat would like to spend at least five minutes trying to find any information that she can. Like, right, well, give me an, op an operate computer if you haven't done it already. Yeah, I did say oh, it was done. like yeah. minus 121. Yeah, yep, yep. I just sc scrolled up through the, 
the right results. And um, you probably want to give me an in info. Yeah. An info, uh, gather info role as well, please. Okay. Right. I'll give you that information later, okay? All right. Yep. Remind me. Uh, you're going through this door here, are you? Is that right? Uh, specifically, uh, she would be uh, looking for any uh, interface with the security systems to deactivate any robots that uh, might be <laughs> lurking around here. <laughs> Just saying that uh, loud before people go into the next yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, there does not appear to be any, uh, any um, robot control uh, interface on this computer. All right. Okay. All right. So several things before we go into the next room. Mm -hmm. um, one was uh, the jazz find anything on the bodies. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, apart from the two laser pistols, the sonic disruptor and the needler pistol, and uh, the sapphire also had an albedo screen, a disengaged albedo screen. Uh, Doc's asking about first aid for anyone. Babu needs it. Jazz needs it. And Cerise needs it. Ooh, just. Ooh, just, just. Yeah, you want to be careful doing that. <laughs> uh, do we have time for minor surgery or are we hurrying um, that's, a, that's a question to the group how long's minor um, surgery take i don't oh. actually know uh well it takes normally a, normally a, not a combat turn but a regular turn at least which is at least 10 minutes i mean the doc can stay with cat and give cat surgery but i think the rest of us need to slap, move on slap some first aid on babu and all that yeah, everybody got first aid who needed it, so... Okay. Including so, Cat? Yes. That was mm -hmm. done way before. Mm-hmm. So the, the... The ammunition I picked up, how many clips was that total that I was able to scavenge from, uh... The Sathar, the Brusk, and the... Draw the safe? Uh, well, the Needler... The, 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 the Needler pistol had been shot, uh, shot three times. Uh, the Sonic Devastrator hadn't been shot at all, so it's a full t it's a full 20 SEU clip, um, uh, and the one of the laser pistols had been shot twice. The other one had been shot five, uh, six times. On, uh, yeah. So uh, one of the laser pistols has um, seven, seven, sorry, has 15 SEU. The other one has uh, 10 ECU. All right. Okay. Um, Jazz will pick up the, the full clip. And then, and then there's this unit, so I'll move Jazz up next to Cerise. Mm-hmm. All right, so are you going through this door? Not alone. <laughs> Voke and Babu, are you guys coming? Yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Cat's messing around with the computer will take enough time that she's out of this combat, right? Yep. Yeah, that's fair. Cool. Um, we'll also give the doc some some grenades. Both is gonna take more pictures of the base. <laughs> so massive cables massive cables lead into this turreted housing in the east wall. Uh, the back half of a destroyed heavy laser is also visible, and there's a small computer standing against the south wall. Ah, the thing that was shooting at us. Yep. Cool. Let's try the next door north. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
So this mushroom-shaped room runs from east to west, with the mushroom head making up the western half. Okay. Uh, the east wall of the head portion contains housings for a huge beam, a huge beam weapon, and turret. Uh, in the stem of the mushroom shape is a hydraulic equipment for a large gun that fires from the roof. Beneath the gun and uh, sorry, beneath the gun are feed hoppers and stacks of ammunition. Uh, both the beam weapon and the gun appear to be partially damaged. Alright, so that was like the big turret that was shooting at us, probably. Probably. Yeah. Didn't we destroy and it? Yeah, we blew them all up, from what I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no. no doors or people or nope. piles of gold? Nope. Ammunu gold. Ammunition look standard, not alien. No, oh, it looks alien alienish, but I mean it's it's yeah, it's obviously recallless rifle ammunition. Oh, I got a question. Quick question. Mm -hmm. The What's that? rocket launcher on the robot, is that something that can be like taken off and carried around? No. Alright, well I had to ask. Yeah, that's right, it was already asked, but that's okay, you weren't here when it was done. <laughs> yeah, but we'll take the uh, one ammo though. <laughs> uh, it has what, two, three rockets left? Uh, it's fired too, and you haven't got you haven't got any rockets out of it yet. A large panel of electrical connections line the wall. Uh, a block of machinery sits in the centre and extends to the ceiling, uh, and it's connected to three small, three small computers. Um, can I'll go in and see if I can figure out what they're for, what what this room's for. Mm-hmm. Well, you better give me a logic check, mate, on that one. You can add your um, you know, ten percent for each of your um, skills in technician for that, if you like. Voke, you reckon it's probably some sort of sensing sensor unit, um, probably um, some sort of mix of radar and lidar, um, possibly for um, use in helping the targeting of the weapons when the weapons were being used. All right. Expecting one more bunker this way. Uh, the room is empty. And the next door. You now have 45 minutes to reach minimum safe distance, says a voice over the PA system. How fast does the uh, air car go? Oh, it goes vroom. <laughs> it goes vroom. <laughs> it, 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 it goes vroom. Uh, this appears to be very similar to the small turret uh, to the south. Cables, along, uh, cables snaking across the floor to some sort of energy weapon, uh, probably a heavy laser by the looks of the remains. Whatever it is has been partially destroyed, or destroyed. All right, I think that's everything, guys. I think it's time for us to leave. Yep. There is, I'll see anywhere there, else to... Is this another door where Jazz is right now? 
Where's Jazz? I can't see her. Uh, in the same room as Cat. Sorry. That's why I can't see her, because I've got my thing back. Ah, uh, yeah, that is a door. Oh. Do you want to open it, do you? Yeah. Yep. That's where the all the latinum is stored. The what? Latinum from Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought you said. Uh, this narrow room runs north south. This wall is con is the control panel for a massive computer unit in full operation. The cr c the controls are marked with unreadable, probably sapphire symbols. We'll take a picture. Okay. Yeah, and I was going to say if Kat wants to, if if she thinks she's able to download any information out of the computer, otherwise we probably should head out. I think we've already um, done that part. We're just waiting for the info. Oh yeah, is, mm. that another door there? is this another door? No. No, that was already asked, and the answer is no. Right. Okay, so the um, Uh, a quick scan of the records without any detail, without any much details. This appears to have been um, a Sapphire training base for Sapphire agents. Um, it appears to have been um, abandoned uh, when uh, Max's first ship um, discovered the rift. Um, seems that the Sapphire were concerned that. Um, the UPF would be coming um, pretty quickly um, after the uh, the ship got back. Um, uh, there was a um, uh, a Safa heavy cruiser with a destroyer escort uh, inbound uh, into the system. Um, it appears that some 15 minutes ago um, a signal was sent out um, and the uh, computer's reporting that the cruiser has already st has started to change course. Awesome. Oh, wait. You well, change course at this stage. It's only just starting to happen. So... I'm sure Max's ship is a, a, a fair fight against a heavy cruiser and two destroyers. <laughs> Only a single destroyer. Only a single destroyer. Only a single destroyer. Oh, well, then the odds are in our favor. What are we worried about? Hmm? Oh, well. We can throw cans of tuna at them. <laughs> well, they do, they do call destroyers tin cans. Yep. So what are you doing, guys? Going up the elevator, I think. We've gotten everything that we can from here. The only thing, if we want, and I don't think we want to, is to reactivate the missiles in case the crew, in case the destroyer comes in. But I don't see why it would. And then I don't know how we'd get off planet. Though once this place blows up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't I think, think it's gonna we... buy us. Nah. Uh Jazz will grab the other weapons on the way out. Yeah, oh Did yeah. You uh these we'll take the stuff that they had on their bodies, right? Right. Yeah, it's it was all alien. Was it Actually, alien? It no, oh, not okay. really. It was all it was all UPF well, it was all frontier stuff. Oh, okay. Most of it, anyway. Okay, so uh, you're going down the lift, is that right? Yep. Yep. Uh, and um, okay, so uh, when you pile out of the lift and come outside, um, Max has uh, managed to get both uh, hover cycles around near the air car. Uh, so not Max, um, Babu, uh, Bim Bam. I'll get it right in a minute. Um, Max is sitting in the back of the air car, um, still out of it. 
No, it's not an air car. It's a hover car. My fault. Isn't that it is a, a hover car. Now. Okay, so hover car does not go vroom on like air car. Air car goes vroom. So who has operate vehicle or technician skills? Just uh, you and I. What about Max? He should. Max is out of it. Yeah, I think we might have to wake Max up and make him drive a hover cycle. Why wouldn't any of us be able to drive? Do you have operate skill. vehicles? But we can still just drive, right? We just can't do crazy stuff. No. No, you actually need the operate machinery skill <laughs> so, or, so or the drive skill. Car. Do you know how to drive okay. a car? Well, do, well, hang on. Think about it. How many people... You know, you know, what did you have to go through to learn to drive a car? For real? Uh, in real life? You had to practice in a parking lot. Yeah, uh, yeah, and you had to learn how to, and you had to learn how to do it, didn't you? Yeah, okay. You, you guys haven't learned how to do it. So, sorry. And with Uber and Lyft and taxi cabs and not everybody exactly. learns. Yeah, that's Why, true. Kitty, Kitty doesn't know how to drive. Well, she does sort of. She hasn't got a license. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, quick logistical question. The Albedo screen that we picked up from the Sethar, what was its power source? Did it have a power source? It did. It was did. It, like it a had belt a power. Pack or? A belt pack. Okay. It had a belt pack. So, how many people does the hover car fit? Because we've got the prisoner. Six. So, what prisoner? And we have how many hover cycles? Two. Two. So we've got nine people. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> I Who guess are the nine Max people? is. Oh, well, we've got seven player characters plus Max plus the prisoner. What prisoner? One of the guys surrendered, remember, and we drugged him. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Them in? Is there a trunk that we can put them in? Mm, not really. Does a prisoner know how to drive? He's unconscious. He's unconscious like Max. Oh. We could wake him up. We can wake, wake up Max. And say drive. Yeah, I'm... Uh, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, looking to the south, there's a bit of a mushroom cloud. So the Long. tank went up. Okay. Hey, hey, Doc. <laughs> let's wake, wake up, um, Max. We're gonna need him. Yeah, it's already done. Mhm. Mm yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah. Well. Hey, Max. We need you to drive. Uh, yeah. All right. Wow. Where we, where are we going? What, what's happening? Would the Doc actually recommend against this? Like somebody oh, yeah. Working. Almost yeah. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know how good Stimdos is, but... <laughs> give him another and we can give him five minutes. You now as have... As long as he doesn't freak out, we're okay. ...to reach minimum safe distance. What was that, said Max? Don't worry about it, okay? All you have to do is drive a hover cycle, alright? No, give drive him the a car. Hover cycle. Okay, a hover car. Drive a hover car. Right, where are we going? We're going away East. from back. here. We're going back to the explorer. Or, sorry, west. To the ship. Back to the ship, alright. Gotta go Wait, back to the village. Home. We gotta go to the village, right? Because our car is parked there. The big yes. car. I, we're... They were pissed at us last time. I'm not sure we're getting that explorer back, guys. <laughs> but we can try with our... 50 collective hit points across the And I think body. we, well, I think we morally have to give them a warning. And yeah, but I think, we didn't we kill all their, uh, all their, like, actual dangerous people? Uh, Most of them. The mob's pretty dangerous last time we were there. But, we'll see. Okay. And what are you going to warn them for? We can't save them. Are they, are they going to understand what? At high speed, yelling, 
Yeah, we probably can't save them, but we should try to get our explorer back if we can. And maybe the friend ally guy, maybe him and his family want to come for a visit. Um, let's see, I've got a question. So, the, the signals that um, Cat found, like about the Sekar ships, the course change was to come to this planet, or they were coming to this planet and then turned away? Yep, could have been. So they were coming to the planet initially? Peace to have been, yes. Okay. So, and the ship, our ship, the one, the Max's ship, um, how many people can it actually, <coughs> excuse me, can it actually fit? It could not fit all the, all the Haley apes. Yeah, but it could fit like a family or two, right? Yeah, I suppose, but I mean, do you really want to do that? Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's something to think about. Because it's a bit it's it's a bit of a death sentence. Yeah, we would have to lock them off. No, well, it's a bit of a death sentence. To, I mean, yeah, you take a single family away from from the planet Earth, and there's no other humans around. That family is going to die within a generation. Or they become a science experiment. Or they become a science experiment, which is way worse. Right? Yeah, right. Um, there is an argument to be made that it's it's more humane to leave them with their leave them with their families and their and their people. And well, maybe we the UPF, maybe the UPF already have ships in route and they can evacuate. Possibly. That's probably the best we can hope for, or relocate them to another rift. Um, the, I guess that's the other thing, is do we have the resources to relocate them to another rift? No, uh, not really. And it's not like, and, and terrain-wise, it's not something that Helios can just walk out of, right? They can't just trek out of here to a different area. Well, right, the rifts are two kilometers deep, so no. Yeah, so to go up to the top is not hospitable. So they have to live within a rift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The surface of the surface of, of star mist is not, yeah, is, as you said, it's not it's not life sustaining. The only life the only sustainable areas on the planet are in the rifts. Mm. So we could see about relocating them to another rift if they believe us and are willing. You don't. Have, you guys don't have the resources for that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So at least for the, at, at this very moment, anyways, um, we're gonna get out of dodge. Get back to the village. Yeah. If after five or ten minutes, Max is safe to drive, he'll take the air car. Boke and I'll take the hover cycles. Yeah, and we'll um, take. Well, well, actually, I, unless yeah, we can some... take more of the robot, if we can't take all of the robot in like the cargo space of the hover car, we're just no. gonna take the motherboard. Why? It's sap our tech. Yeah. So. So. Yeah, my, we... and, and, so why? It's valuable. There's plenty of. According to whom? To the UPF. Ha has the UPF captured yeah, Sapphire yeah, Tech? Yeah. yeah, before. Hey, of course they have. Okay. They haven't captured us. They, 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 they've captured. They've captured dead Sapphire. Um, they've gotten their hands on on bits and pieces of Sapphire robot before. Okay. Well. Who so knows? no, there's they no value. In, there's no. Other. There's no value in Sapphire Tech. In Sapphire Tech, there's no value in it. Tell me, you tell me where the Sapphire homeworld is, that's a whole nother issue. Well, Volk still wants a motherboard for himself. To say I was there. Oh, well, you better go and get one then. 
Yeah, so we there's one not in the bunker, but where we near the uh, outside. We'll take the motherboard from that. Mm, no, you give me you better give me a repair roll then. No, not technician, robotic. Nope. <laughs> you now have 15 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. I'll set my chronocom for 13 minutes. Jump on a hover cycle. Anybody want to ride? Uh, Jazz will hop on. Um, if we look at the um, Rift Valley map, Matt, mm -hmm. what hang did on. we say minimum hang safe on. distance was? About 10 clicks. Um, what's the scale on that? So can we draw a circle on that? Yeah, hang on a sec. Uh, 10 clicks. Get past that, that point and you're about right. Okay, so let's head to that point and set down. No, we don't want to be... That, get past that point and you'll be right, I said. Yep, so let's go... Yeah. If we can get that far and then set down, we should have some, some shield from the shock. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, who's on? Uh, Cerise, you better give me an operate machinery role, please. Uh oh. Okay. Who's on the? Um, who is on the other cycle? Voke. Yeah. By yourself? Uh, yeah. You better give me a uh, operate machinery roll, please. Mm-hmm. And let's see what Max does. Okay. All right, so yeah, you pile into the air car uh, and onto the hover cycles and take off madly skimming across the lake. Okay. Um, uh, in your mad, mad dash to get away, um, you do manage to make it uh, past the uh, minimum safe distance area, uh, and you said you wanted to set down. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, we well, don't have to go there. Okay. The, um... Sorry, the, um... Uh, yeah, sorry, um... Cerise and Jazz better give me reaction speed checks because Cerise manages to stack it on landing. It's a cycle, I swear. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I reject it. Uh, uh, Battle of 
been going through the computer chase scene. Oh, right, okay. Crash it, here we go. B divided by 20. Uh, 5D10. Uh, for both of you, please. Let me, you can both, you can each, you can roll that. What happens when you stack a hover cycle? Um, no, all those uh, nines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jazz, Jazz, you take half that. So 17 points, Jazz. Uh, okay. Your inertia screen or skin suit will take half that again. Uh, Cerise, um, you take full 35. Yeah, and were then screen, right? And then screen if you've got an inertia screen or a, or a skin suit, yes. You can have it if yep. you've got your this is why you wear a crash helmet. Uh, not long after setting down or crashing, as the case may be, uh, there is a blinding double flash uh, from the area uh, near uh, where you've just come from, um, followed by the sight of a large mushroom-shaped thermal cloud rising above the, uh, the, wa the water of, of the lake. Um, so, so yes. Well, uh, luckily, the EMP yeah, shockwave. Like to say, for posterity's sake, we have wiped out a, another Sasser base. Yes. Doc, I think you wanted. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Well done, Doc. Well done, Doc. And by a court remaining. It's hands <laughs> by a court remaining. <laughs> All right. Uh, so um, uh, the uh, the noise of the explosion eventually reaches you, along with some choppy water across the lake, uh, and a large uh, gust of hot wind. Um, all signs of a nuclear explosion. Um, so yes. Um, in fact, you're even even at this distance, you're peppered by the odd falling piece of rock as well. But some some of them are up, up to fist size. Um, you take no damage from the falling rock, but it does fall. What's your next move, gentlemen? Uh, the radiation, how long is it going to take to, like, spread to the... Oh! I understand, like, wind and whatnot, but... Two days, three days, a week? A couple of weeks, maybe. Okay. Is it possible to plug a backpack into the, uh, hover car? Recharge? No. No, it is not. Sorry. So, do we want to camp here for the night? Make camp. I don't know what gear we have before we go back, and then Very we little. Can spend some time figuring out what our next plan of action is. I would have thought your next plan of action would have been to go to your ship and leave. Ship? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we want the explorer, don't we? I don't know. You're the one. Uh, you're the you one who's on about the explorer. 
we took one god, we could leave them one. I wouldn't want to leave the explorer if we can avoid it. Um, the question that we probably need to be honest about is would we have left things like the recoilless rifle on the Explorer? The stuff that's too big, would there be a shitload of grenades in there and all that kind of stuff? I had extra st supplies in there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think going back to the storage is really well. I'm not really too worried about the food. Matt, can you pin your mic? Sorry, guys. I was just letting you guys have your discussions, that's all. No, no, I know. There's, the feedback was getting to be too much. Yeah, yeah, I figured that's what I... Yeah, I don't hear it, so... See, I don't hear it at all. That's why um, I, 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 you've just got to keep reminding me, because I don't, I don't hear it, I don't think about it, I don't remember it, I don't, yeah. It's not there Yeah, I mean, me. I've, got, I've got gear in the Explorer, plus the Explorer itself is valuable. I don't know if we brought all of the... what all we have with us. I mean, I know what I have, but I and I also know I've left stuff in the Explorer. Yeah. How does Matt feel about would, going I... back to the Explorer? He wants to leave. But look, let's just cut our losses and leave. Yeah, nuclear explosions, sapphire, yeah, alien tanks. Yeah, could have used the alien tanks. And the <laughs> villagers pissed at us. And the villagers are pissed at us. Yes. Yeah, on the, on the Explorer, if if I'm if I'm looking at my inventory of what I normally keep in the the stash, which is the stuff that I would leave on the Explorer, it'd be a bunch of auto rifle clips, a bunch of grenades, best skin suits, and the recoilless rifle. Uh, so that kind of hurts, but it's better than dying. Uh, it would be whether we could get in and not die and grab out on the Explorer, which I'm not certain that we can. Because everybody's pretty, uh, messed up. Yeah, but how long has it been since we were there? Um... Yeah, I mean... 24 hours? I mean, you, um, know, you, nab the, you, you nab the tank out, of, out from underneath the pyramid, um, followed the attack robots back to the base, attacked the base, um, in, infiltrated the base, blew up the base. Um, so, yeah, name would be a day. If so, yeah. Uh, what are, what are the south or if they're in system? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, if you know they're in system, the ship would the ship would be able to pick them up on radar. Yeah, I'm not system. anxious to get up into orbit. Let's put it that way. And not too anxious to stay on the ground here, <laughs> either. <laughs> Well, no, but I'd rather give the Sathar a day or two to lead the system, or at least get yeah. so far out they can't change their course and intercept us. Um, let's think about it this way. What are our penalties for moving the hover car and the bikes through this forest? If, say, if we had to haul ours because the Helios were after us, would that be a problem? Uh, we could probably, I mean, the hover cycles you could probably maneuver through the trees. Yep. Um, the hover car, you might be able to maneuver through the trees, but most hover vehicles have got a 10 meter ceiling, so you could probably get up above, up above a lot of the trees. Yep. But it's if not you something that you'd want to do if you were being pursued. No, we just go out on the lake if we're being pursued. They can't follow us on the lake. Yeah. Everything's hover, so. No, it's the Volturnus map's not what I want. 
uh, where is the Rift Valley map? There it is. Yeah, but you're gonna have to go through the trees to, no matter what you do to get to get to the ship. Oh yeah, but we can get safe enough a distance away that, that we can go carefully. Like they're not gonna be able to run through the forest faster than we can go across the lake and get away from them to a safer spot. I think that's the thought process there. Yeah. Mm, possibly. I mean, it, the the people who are going to have to be doing this are either Ceres or Vogue or Max, right? Uh, well, Max doesn't want to do it. Yeah, no Max. A and Max doesn't want to do it because Max needs to fly us out. So, going to have to be one of you two. And probably the smaller the better because it's you probably want to try and sneak in there and then race out. Yeah, well, the hover uh, cycle, the hover vehicles, uh, uh, they've you know, they make a noise. They're not silent yeah. vehicles. Yeah. Both will do it. Yeah, and I, I want to go to the Explorer. I mean, I think we need to at least go to the edge of the village and scout it out. We we can we can make camp. I don't know, two kilometers out right in the trees whoever wants to go can go to the edge of the village scout it out and if we think if the explorer hasn't been ransacked we can go get the explorer and leave i mean once we button it up there's not a lot they can do to us unless they drop trees in our path that's what we do. but we can run along the river edge and get away from them before we head north in the way Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do, boys? Guys? So I want to go to the edge of the village and scout it. So does Bo. Uh, Jazz will go. Are you going on foot or are you going on vehicle? Uh... I would say vehicle to two kilometers. If everybody wants to go to a take the vehicles to two kilometers out. Or do we think okay. two kilometers is far enough that they can't hear us? Yeah, probably. probably you'd probably be all right at two clicks. So, yep, so let's, let's say three yeah. then. Okay, make it three clicks. We can, then. we can hump it three clicks. I'd rather be much safer than sorry. Mm-hmm. All right, so you're coming in. You're coming along the. You're coming in along the edge of the uh, edge of the river, uh, and you're gonna you're gonna park on the on the shore, about three clicks from the village. Is that right? Yeah, the edge of the trees. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Everybody good with that? Yep. 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 Just yep. keep in mind that the Explorer is a wheeled vehicle. It is amphibious, but it is wheeled. Right. What I what I would suggest is um, it, hopefully we can get the Explorer back here, we can load the hover cycles in the back of the Explorer, then we can take the hover car and the Explorer north to the, road, to the ship. That's my plan. That's your plan. That's why right, we well, only have two vehicles we have to drive. Vogue can drive one and I can drive the other. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Well, if you drive along the edge, if you uh, drive along the edge of the uh, edge of the river and uh, edge of the trees and get yourselves about three kilometres short of the village and put down there, who's going to the village and who's staying behind? You can vote in chat if you want, or... Uh, the only concern would be who's really low on hit points. Like, is anybody going to insta-die if they get hit? Vogue doesn't have a Because Cat's on 11 points without a skin stick. Well, we can do surgery before we go to the village. We're not in yeah, a rush to hit the village. We've got 10 by a quarter. Uh, I don't think uh, we can actually man. heal everybody. Babu ain't bad, but he definitely needs his power.
What do you need, powerful? My backpack is out for a short charge. Oh. got a fully charged belt pack from that safe and sapphire. Yeah, I was looking. I might have some spare clips, but I don't think. I've got two. What are they? Power pack? Not the power pack. Yeah, power pack, not the backpack. Got two of those, so. Yeah, you can't but... run a screen off one of those. Yeah. I've got a belt pack with 43 SEU if you want to borrow it. That would help. Alright. Uh. You want to just yeah. switch out so your belt pack has four charges now? And... Yep, yep, will do. And I have a belt pack if anybody needs it. Mm-hmm. Cool, so who's going in? Because those are the people that probably want to prioritize surgery. Uh, so if it's going to be Vox, Reese, and Jazz, and Babu, uh, then who needs surgery the most? Sorry. That's okay. Because we've got uh, 10 bio court and 7 out of static left. So this is our last heal before we GTFO. <laughs> yeah. I need a total of 27 points. I don't yep, know what so Vogue's at. I'm at 30 of 50. It feels Since like I haven't I'm been wounded again. I don't think I I can use another first aid or anything like that gone by. No, you haven't been wounded again. Yeah. So. And that's what, what you... minor surgery. Twenty points is minor. Anything more than twenty points is major. It feels like a minor surgery to uh, Babu Ceres, uh, and. That's probably it. Yeah, because Jazz is Jazz is only ten points down, so he's probably fine. Yeah, I should bring the rest of our bio court since he is a medic. Yep. So, who's getting healed? How much are you being? How much are you being healed? And therefore, how much bio court are you going through? I was going to do minor to Ceres and a minor to uh, Babu, which would be oh. two by a court and two anesthetic, right? Four by a court. Four by a court. And Got how it. much is Voke down? Uh, Matt, can you look that up? Sorry, I thought you were asking. Yeah, I know. Uh, where is it? <sighs> I think he's down a lot because he got rocketed. Uh, where is it? Under, I think, uh, I keep mine under calm. Current stamina, he's, he's 27, he's at 27 points. Out of? 65? So, that's at least a minor, if not a major. Uh, if I do minor surgery, that'll give him 20 back, uh, yeah, which will put him at 55, it'll put him 10 down, uh, and then we'll be at 4 by court and 4 anaesthetic remaining. Mm-hmm, sounds, sounds right to, to me. me. Okay. Does anybody have um, does or smoke grenades that I can take? I don't have any with me. Uh, yeah, uh, the doc definitely does. He's only got one though. Let me check cat. Uh huh. still have nine frag grenades, but no other type of grenades. You had nine frag um, grenades? I do why have one smoke grenade. Why weren't you throwing frag grenades at the Sapphire? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? The one in the room? Yeah. I did. You threw a grenade. I missed. 
Yeah. The amount of missing that these guys do normally, I'd, you know. Yeah, you can take uh, two of those grenades if you want. Okay, Please. I'll take those two. Because I mm -hmm. don't want to use anything lethal against the villagers if we can absolutely avoid it. Uh, so, Jazz, uh, on your sheet, yep. just write down four by a court and two anesthetic. Alright. And that is all of our med drugs remaining. Use them wisely. In other words, use them on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works. <laughs> Whatever works. So who is back? Is it Cat, Bim Bam, and the Doc? Is that Sounds like right? it. And Max. Yep. And Max. Yeah. We'll the set prisoner. up a defensive. Yeah. We'll set up a defensive uh, sort of perimeter around the hover car because we really don't want to lose that if we are unsuccessful getting the Explorer back. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well, you four better give me sneak rolls. Uh, and sneak sneak consist of? It's actually a skill. Alright. So, without the skill. Uh, <laughs> Dex, I what's it? What's it based on? I can't remember. With yeah, uh, penalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking it up. Uh, where are we? Skills. Uh, environmental skill. Stealth, 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 stealth. It's Environmental based stealth. It's based on decks. So if you're an environment, if you are an environmentalist, and I don't think anyone is actually. Jazz is bumbling through the forest. So it's half your decks minus ha half your decks minus five to start with. <laughs> so there's just yeah. a dex roll. So I actually make it. Unless you want me to... Well, no, that's you half your dad's minus five. Okay. Yep, half so 30. 30 minus five. Oh, 34, you're right. So you fa I failed. None of us make it. I think Vag's got a roll, yeah. The budget stealth team. <laughs> 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 well, this, this, this is the first time you've tried the commando raid, so, you know... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, definitely not. Okay, so you you move up move up towards the edge of the village. Um, does anyone did anyone bring goggles with magna goggles with them? Yeah, yep, just does. And what time of day is it? If we get uh, to pick, I would say we should go at night. If you want to go at night, trouble going at night is very hard to see what's going on. But then again, not with to IR too. and Starlight. Yeah, maybe, maybe. All right, so you're going at night, are you? I th I think Voke and I both have uh, nighttime IR goggles. I don't know about Jazz and uh, Jazz has uh, night vision as a as Okay. And Babu says, oh, I'll have to get some as soon as we get back. <laughs> okay, looking at getting close to the village, there's a, a bit of a bonfire uh, going. Um, it's spreading quite a bit of light around, and uh, it doesn't do much for the IR either. Um, looking through your goggles, so you're not getting too close yet. Yeah? Correct. Yeah. Yep. Um, a couple of things couple of things you note. Uh, one is um, the explorer appears to have been uh, moved into the village and it's uh, currently got a few ropes around it and it's uh, lying on its back. A bit like a turtle. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's just go back to the ship. Uh, one of the guys has got the rocket launcher over his shoulder 
um, and there seems to be a bit of a um, some sort of celebration going on around the bonfire. Um, if you look very closely, i.e., give me a um, spot check, a couple of spot checks for those that look using goggles, using Magna goggles. Yeah, um, it, they're definitely um, so th there's a couple of them definitely tossing uh, what appears to be grenades back and forth to each other. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just going uh, to not delete rocker. the. Uh, Sorry, not rocket, not recoil rifle. I meant. Sorry. I'm just going to delete the uh, item marked stash in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to yeah, rebuy don't. mine, so you I just know my entire don't. ammo bag is gone. You don't know. You don't know this, um, uh, cat. You haven't been yes. informed. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah. We'll leave. We'll head out, guys. You're heading into the village, as you say? No. No, no. No, we're going to no. the ship. You're going to the ship from where you are right now? Uh, no, we're we'll going back, back to rejoin everyone the... at the hover cars the car. and the hover cycles. Ah, right. Okay, right. Okay. And so you, you're you're getting the hover cycles in the hover car, and you are moving to the to the ship. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Uh, so you arrive back at the ship. Uh, load... Load everything up. Is that right? Yep. Uh, and are you leaving? Hurry up, Marines. Uh, we are all leaving. Our alien stuff we have with us, I believe, right? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, we have the alien stuff with us. Yeah. You have some alien what? stuff with you, yes. Well, the, yeah, the stuff we we took from the priests. Yeah. Uh, let's, back. but let's stay here a day, guys. Yeah, and let's see if our ship scanners picked up any other spaceships. All right. Well, if you wait 24 hours, um, is that what you're doing? Well, yeah, I'm monitoring so taxi taxi rad gauge. Yeah. And monitoring the ship's scanners. Yeah. Uh, so if Can you wait 24. Do, did we also send out any message to the UPF? We can send one By now. Chance? Yeah, we Not can send one Not with the destroyer now. in system. Well, we don't know where the destroyer was, right? Or did we? It was in system. Yeah. Oh. So, after a day, you note that, yes, the the heavy cruiser and its destroyer ex destroyer escort uh, do definitely seem to be accelerating out outbound. Um, another day or two, and they should hit jump speed. Now, so I, I guess we would leave it to the Astrogator Max to say, you know, make sure we don't lift before there's no way that they can turn around and get us or intercept us. Well, probably the best thing to do is wait till they jump. Yeah, so we can wait another two days. As long as we're watching the taxi taxi rad gauges. Mm-hmm. Yep, we'll be fine. We gotta watch. So, uh, after a couple of days further, the uh, the um, the report comes back that the the uh, heavy cruiser and the destroyer have both jumped out system, and so Max says it's time to go. Let's go. Shall we go? Yeah, we'll send a message out to the UPF and we'll leave. Yeah, well, hang on, you've got to... <laughs> um, that's not quite that simple. But we've been uh, on the ship a couple of days. Our backpacks are recharged. Oh, it's not a matter of it's not a matter of recharging backpacks and that, which they are now. It's a matter of getting the um, the subspace radio aligned properly. Uh, that's not something you really do from ship. You know what I mean? Um, something you're more likely to do in space when you're not moving, as in, in orbit. As such. Well, alright, then uh, we lift off and we get in... when we get out of the atmosphere. Yeah, well, you can't do it from here is what I'm trying to say. Alright, yeah, right? that, that's, that's fine. We send a message um, as soon as we can. Yeah, well that means when you jump back into Federated, federated Space. 
because um, you're technically on the out there for anyway. Yeah. All right. Um, look. Um, what are you plans? What are you planning on doing once you get back into federated states? You're going to tell the UPF what? Oh. Everything. Well. Well, we should every, be careful every, not getting Max into trouble, <laughs> potentially. Uh, if we say too much, he might be uh, in trouble. Yeah, I think right, we'll... Let, let's talk among ourselves first, but I, I think something along the lines of Sathar training phase went boom, big nuclear explosion. Uh, the helio so, need help. Yeah, so in other words, mate, you're going to make a report to the UPF about the about Star Mist, about the Sapphire, which you are legally required to do, I might add, um, even though you haven't done it before, um, between you and me, um, and uh, and tell them about the Sapphire. Basically, make a full report. Is that right? Well, putting yourselves in the yeah. best light, of course. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then what are you going to do about the outer, uh, you're gonna, what are you going to do about the, af the uh, alien artifacts? you going to try and flog them? Well, that's up to Max to do and then give us our share, right? Yeah, basically, yeah, pretty much. Take right, and we felt we were, yeah, okay, yeah, good on. All right, so um, you spend the, uh, you spend the time, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll summarise I'll summarise all this. Um, you spend the uh, the time um, on the jump back into Federated Space, working out your story. Uh, when you're back in uh, Federated Space, uh, you make a report, an a preliminary report uh, to the uh, the local UPF. Uh, Max starts making contacts uh, with his uh, his contacts to uh, move the uh, the alien artifacts. Um, he's rather morose. Uh, the entire trip back, um, he doesn't think you're going to. He, he doesn't think you're going to make much profit out of this. Mostly, um, most of the good stuff, i.e., the tank and that, you know, um, went boom. Um, but uh, you should be able to make enough to cover cover expenses and maybe a little bit of profit. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, so uh, you jump your way. You, sp you sp spend a couple of weeks jumping your way. Uh, through the Federation back to uh, Prangalar eventually. A um, couple of things of note uh, when you reach uh, when you reach um, Prangalar, um, you, you have a few interviews with various uh, UPF officials uh, from various uh, parts of the bureaucracy. Um, the UPF quickly. Um, Organises some sort of relief mission uh, back to Star Mist. Um, uh, you're debriefed several times about the base and uh, what you did there, and and um, they go over the photos that you took. Um, so, um, um, yeah, what? If there's a uh, covert place. Uh, that cat can check the uh, interwebs uh, in Pringla. She just wants to check news sources to make sure there's been no uh, reported cases of blue plague uh, after our mishap last act. No. Oh, okay, good. Um, yeah, no, no, there's been no, there's been no report of the blue plague. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what you do, I'll tell you what you do find though. Um, apparently, uh, there's been a, a significant a significant uptick in Ixotol um, addiction. Um, Ixotol's uh, a new drug uh, that's appeared on the scene over the last um, couple of months. Um, in fact, um, you spotted a, a, an Ixotol addict uh, when you landed. Um, they're pretty easy to see. They basically the, the skin tone goes um, or the uh, goes yellow. Um, not bright yellow, but like they're really badly jaundiced, um, and they get uh, sunken eyes and listless. Um, it's apparently it's becoming a real, a real epidemic in in some some star systems, and it's starting to spread throughout the entire um, the entire frontiers. 
Um, although, although a quick pattern recognition indicates that it has got nothing to do with what you were doing uh, last act. Um, it just happens to be uh, one of the newsworthy items. Talking about newsworthy items, um, after a, a couple of weeks back, um, you, uh, you, you, uh, there's a, a few reports on the um, the uh, rescue mission uh, to um, to Starmist. Um, apparently, by the when the when the relief mission got in. Um, most of the the Heliot village was um, already sick with radiation sickness, um, and um, obviously some of the people that some Heliots had actually, had actually died. Um, it's shaping up to be uh, the tragedy of the year um, in here in the frontier. Um, um, the uh, the press goes after Max. Uh, apparently Max's name got leaked um, and there's even a couple of rumours floating around that are reported on that the uh, so-called heroes of Volturnus were involved somehow uh, although uh, whenever asked directly uh, Max says no comment uh, and the UPF says no comment uh, and um, even uh, one of the spokesmen uh, even one of the spokesmen for um, um, the Galactic Task Force uh, says that uh, they have no no idea where the so-called heroes of uh, heroes of Alternus are. Uh, they've been uh, off the radar for the last couple of months, uh, apparently on some sort of um, uh, some sort of private um, exploration mission, which some people lead. Uh, to believe that you were involved with uh, the Star Miss tragedy, as it's been ca come to be known. Um, um, so the authorities are trying to keep you out, to keep uh, keep things uh, quiet. Uh, apparently, they don't want to start a panic. Um, and uh, unfortunately, if, if if what's happening to poor Max is any indication. Um, what's going to happen to you guys if you get linked with this officially? Uh, the, the press are going to go nuts. Um, yeah. Any questions? Um, just was there any? Uh, what what was our cut from Max? Anything? Or yeah, are we just out? Well, you're not out, but I mean, you you basically the expedition effectively breaks even. Um, both because there's not that much um, alien artifacts there. The main item, the the, the tank, is very of, of great interest, but there's no evidence because it, it, you know, got apart from the photos that you guys took. Um, so generally, the expedition breaks even. Um, so, so we have enough money to get our gear back, or no? Okay. No, nope. Only what you've, uh, only what money you still got saved up. Um, actually, that's a combination of the fact that there's actually not much alien alien artifacts there, and also the publicity um, around the Starmish tragedy. Um, you know, it sort of frightens a lot of people off. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the museums and private think tanks and that, which would have been interested in acquiring some of the artifacts, have uh, have shied away. <coughs> Pardon me. So yes. Um, any other questions? No? Nope. Nope. Okay. Um, <coughs> one thing, uh, the, the few <coughs> items that we looted, if we sell it, if we sell it, is it like 10% of the listed price or how much does that come out? What's, what's the uh, rate? Oh, the, the, um... the Albedo <laughs> screen. <coughs> disruptor. Half. Half. Okay. Half. Half for used items. So, so yeah. Um, look, um, you guys did actually quite well, uh, believe it or not, out of that particular little uh, little expedition um, in terms of experience. Um, overall, um, various heroics 
uh, various things people did right and a few things people did wrong. Um, I'm going to award you each uh, 12 experience points for the entire adventure. Um, so you can uh, spend those as you wish now. Um, would ja uh, Kat, would you mark down on Doc's sheet um, not 12, but I'm going to award Doc an extra couple of um, experience points for for playing his pacifist character the way he did. Um, yep. uh, the role playing was really well done, and I know it's not easy sitting back and when everyone else is going in and and carving things up, uh, yeah, it can get a bit boring in that. So give Doc 15 points total, will you, please? 15, yep, 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 Whoa, 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 wh
plus 10 for each level, except for the detect alarms. No, actually, actually that would be two. No, it's all plus 10. Uh, yeah, it's all plus 10. Mm, it's all plus 10. Anyone else want to spend some points? Oh, Jay? Take a little, yeah, yeah, take a look and Where? see. Or Babu, or... No, Cloak has it all planned out. He doesn't have enough. Mm -hmm. Engineer yeah, you don't have any plan yet. Probably just put some into additional military skills. Um, but I'll take a look. Well, yeah, level... Three military will cost you nine. Level four will cost you twelve. Yeah, I'm debating my ability scores. I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah, true, don't, forget, true. don't forget your ability scores if you want to put your ability scores up, people. And don't forget your um, special your your um, racial abilities for those who have them. Things like your comprehension and your battle rage and things like that. Uh, so, uh, I don't know how much money the doc came to us with, uh, but I think we need to pitch in some funds for him replenishing a lot of med supplies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jazz definitely can pitch in for that as well. What I would do is I would ask um, the doc to put together a list of what he wants to carry, right? Or what he wants... Yeah to have and then we just figure out the cost of it and di divide it by six well, yeah i think i also have on my inventory two med kits that we i was carrying since fall turnus yeah we i just those. restock that and like i mm. said i'm the mule carrying extras yeah and we can share that cost too But that's probably right. best done by email. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any, uh, any doing the uh, ability scores, how do you... Uh, point for point. Point for point. One point XP point. point. So what, oh. One XP points, one whatever. So what do you want to spend? What were you thinking about raising, right? Well, if I raise dexterity, I'll improve my throwing a bit. Yeah. And if I do that, and I'll also take thrown weapon skill for one level. Well, what's, are you, what's your PSI? Uh, so... Are you social, you're safe, safe social? Um, okay, so you know, a level one military skill will cost you six points. So level one thrown weapons will cost you six points. That'll improve your grenade throwing by ten percent. I could add another five points into dexterity to raise that to fifty. Which will ra which will yeah. Um, also raise initiative. Is that part of that, or is that reaction no, speed? No, it's reaction. No, it won't. You raise dexterity. You only raise dexterity. Right. It has no right. effect on your other one. Not well, now. if it affects a skill though, or a. Oh, it'll affect the skill. Something that's affected skill. by dexterity. Yeah. Yes, it'll go up that way. Yes. That's eleven points I'll spend for that. All right. Are there any rumors of any jobs? Uh, I'll cover that later, mate. I'll cover that later. Anyone say so everyone's got their um? Everyone, does anyone, anyone else want to spend experience points? Nope, I'm all out. Yeah. Would, would I? You're all out. Would I just be able to... Uh, are we, like, moving on to another thing, or can I just get back to you on XP spent? 
or her email. You can get back to you can get to XP then on on email if you like. You don't want to do it now. I'm not quite decided yet. What were you thinking of? Um, I'm thinking of just broadening his military skills, um, first level. So just you know, adding things like bombing, and vehicle weapons. And yeah, if you want to do that. Armor. Just making him more versatile, like across a variety of things. Yeah, if you want to do that, that's fine. So I'm just thinking through what to what to put it into. Yeah. Okay. Well, let me know. Um, so yes. Does anyone want to do any other? Shopping, or or um, spending of points, or anything else like that. Well, I'm gonna have to do some shopping, but I'll send that to you. Okay. I've got a... Oh, stop bitching, cat. <laughs> That's uh, gonna be like four of these. Uh... Four of these adventures. Yeah, it's it's two thirds of all the XP that we've gained to date. Yeah, well, right, and then you and then you've got to buy your first level investigation skill for another eight points. Oh yeah, yep. Beach, 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 moan, 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 wind, wind, wind. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, I, I won't buy anything until we've figured out the dock because I think the dock's probably the most important to stock up. Yeah, well, I'll need to talk to I'll need to talk to Paul about that. With the exception so, of obviously buying more skin suits. Ah dear. <laughs> yeah, we might need to find an odd job or two. Yep. An odd job or two. This is what you've been doing. You've been doing odd jobs. Well, I don't you have know, enough money for a skin suit, so... Oh, uh, bitch, bitch, bitch. Man, man, man. Wings, wings, wings. I am going to put five, the, my last five into strength, Matt. Okay. What's going to take your strength to 40? 35. No, it was 30? Yeah. Oh, God, you are a weak... You were it's my dainty you? legs. It's your dainty legs. Right, so who it? needs a skin suit? Uh, Loka. Or you and can, you those know, you are. Can some credits. Yeah, they're what five hundred credits. The civilian one is five hundred. The military ones are three hundred. Yeah. Which one do you want? Uh, just the, the cheap military. one. <laughs> Although realistically, could we? It, wouldn't it be pretty weird if we were walking around town in military skin suits? Yes. Okay. That's why civilian skin suits exist. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's nice to be able to switch into it when the civilian one gets shredded. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, well, I mean, when we're out and about. Well, 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 hang on a minute. Who said you need to walk around town in a skin suit anyway? Well, maybe we... I mean, Mather don't like us. I mean, put it put it this way, all right? How many people in the real world do you see walking around in a mil in a bulletproof vest? Some of them you might not know. But they got the uh, civilian skin suit on. Yeah. There aren't any people in the there aren't any people in the world currently that run into Sethar where, wherever they go. Cat's uh, starting to get mighty paranoid. <laughs> most most yeah, well, the most of the time, whoa, 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 most of the Sathar you've, most of the it was terrorists. Most of the most of the Sathar you've run into. In fact, almost all almost all of the Sathar you've run into. In fact, all of the Sathar you've run into have been in on remote planets, or in remote space. They have, certainly haven't been on any of the capital worlds. Right? If you incre if you increase that statement to um, to Sathar agents, i.e., terrorists, yes, you did strike a couple of terrorists. Um, here on Prangla when you first started, but apart from that, I can't recall any. <laughs> apart from being on remote worlds or in deep space, so I question the wisdom of wearing a skin suit in public. I'll stop bringing reality into wisdom. Well, that's what wisdom is. 
Oh, dear. No, don't believe me. Yeah, the only no. time we ran into any uh, combat within like the core world was when that, that thing broke out of the zoo. That yeah, big the very first session. If you just lend both 50 credits, you can buy a new suit. I'll give it to you. Alright. Fair enough. Yes, the core worlds, the civilized areas, might get the odd terrorist attack now and then, but certainly, you know, that would be it. In fact, how many South R have you come across? Ignoring like the battle war against them. Hang on, ignoring yeah. the battle of <laughs> ignoring the battle of Volturnus. <laughs> ignoring the battle of Volturnus, how many have you come across? How many uh, did we whack in the ship that was automated, huh? Three or four? Oh, three, four. I remember more airlocks than Sethar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cat, cat, you guys I feel like it does the User stuff. in your channel timed out. Uh -oh. So you got a, uh, you got a. Uh, that was not, that was me. Frontier here that hasn't seen a Sathar, and we have seen so many of them comparatively. Yeah, well, you fought a war against them. What do you expect? Yeah, but it wasn't just on the frontier. That that ship was in frontier area. I mean, that was in the home world area. Or more central area of this region, anyway. Yeah, it was true, but still. And did we not see a Sathar when we first uh, the first mission we ever did? Nope. Just their agents. Just a human, a Vrusk, a Dralosite, and a Yazirian, who apparently were Sathar agents. Apparently. You've seen more space slugs in, in the core world. You've seen more space slugs in the core worlds than you've seen so far. No? Yep. I no. accidentally turned off my Wi Fi. Yes, no, I figured something like that. Yeah, we saw. Anyway. Um, is that gone? Half a dozen, you've seen no more than half a dozen Sapphire, ignoring the, the, the Battle of Volturnus. Yep, however many tried to hijack the ship from us or whatever. Yeah, th plus yeah one. three or four. Yeah, exactly. I thought that was several squads. No. That was, I mean, they, I mean, you may have been scared enough to think that it was several squads, but it was only four. All right. Do we have more we want to do tonight? Do we want to? No. The only other thing I'm, the only other thing I'll mention is uh, uh, apparently is the new, uh, apparently in there's one of the news reports. Um, apparently one of the um, uh, one of the uh, um, uh, fast cargo ships uh, carrying half a dozen passengers as well as cargo disappeared and is overdue uh, in the uh, Gollywog system. How unusual is that? Well, it's unusual enough to make the news, frontier-wide news, but it's not unheard of, a ship being overdue. I mean, space travel is not safe as, yeah, you know, I mean, it's safe, but, yeah. You know, right, right. Ships, ships, ships go missing, not all the time, but that happens. And of course, there's always rumors of pirates taking ships and, ships blowing up and 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 things like that you know um, it's like it's like aircraft going down it's like aircraft crashing um you know does it happen yes does it happen very often no when it happens it usually makes the news um look at look at boeing in the last real world couple of months yeah. Yeah. um so yeah well, no, uh, so that's basically it for the game game tonight. Um, um, 
we'll get on to the uh, the, the next chapter uh, next time we play in two weeks' time. Uh, thanks for playing, everyone. Uh, and if you want to roll those closing credits, um, please, folk. We'll. Um well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape and Twitch, and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.